Health Ballpark here in downtown Kannapolis, North Carolina, as we get set for the third annual Corey LaJoy Kickball Classic. It's a beautiful fall day here in Concord. Kannapolis, sorry, my bad. They're right near each other as a Charlotte native. We kind of lump them all together. I'm Chuck Bush. This is Jonathan Merriman, and we're joined by Skip Flores here in the booth with you. Skip, uh, I know you're, you're used to playing in the games, but today you're in the booth with us. Yeah, the only word that really comes to mind is devastating. It was a devastating loss for the Built Ballers. And, um, you know, before we were the Built Ballers, we played in a Huntersville League called – we were called the Balls and Dolls. And uh, I don't know that we've lost a game that bad ever in, in seven years. So – it was a tough loss, but, hey, I get to join you guys up in the booth. You're well, welcome. <laughs> fresh legs up here. In addition to Jonathan Merriman, we will also be joined by Alex Weaver, who's down on the field. Alex, uh, you're going to bring, be bringing us all of the action. So what are you finding out there? What are you learning? What are you hearing from these teams? Hi, guys. Welcome down to the first baseline. I am going to be talking to the ballers down here on the diamond and I'm going to be checking in with everything that's happening in between innings on both teams but I want you guys to know that this is not just money for a great cause we're also doing charity I know down here but our players out there this is bragging rights for a full year or so we have Olympians down there we have drivers for the NASCAR Cup Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series we have personalities we have other athletes former NFL players and they're all geared up. I will say Corey LaJoy gave me a nice quote for tonight. He said that uh, he cares almost as much about racing as he does about kickball. So we're in store for a competitive night, to say the least. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, it, it's going to be a fun night. It, it's, it's always a fun time. This is the third time we've done this, Jonathan. Uh, a lot of action on the field. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most tonight? Well, if Corey cares more about kickball, then, I mean, it's a good thing Riley Herbst isn't playing, right? Oh, uh, my goodness. You so went there. <laughs> he, I'm, Corey will use a chrome horn. He's competitive. We all know that, especially he's got to be a little upset that, that his team didn't win the regular championship so a little bit more motivation if you look at the rosters though Corey's team the celsius team a little loaded so let's set up how today went so we had a tournament during the day that started uh went around noon or so one noon, o'clock o'clock. yep and it, you know it was sort of round robin tournament bunch of different teams from around the industry around around the the region playing for for charity for uh raising money for the ymca here in kannapolis as well as samaritan's feet yep yeah so the, the cool thing they did this year Every home run was a joy jar, also to Nigu. So, yeah, there was a, a lot of charities getting taken care of today. And, and it's always fun to see. There's some teams that, like, people buy because they want to support, and then there's some teams that come fully loaded and ready, ready to compete. We got caught off guard by a team that we thought was just, you know, coming to hang out, and they, they put up uh, 14 runs on us. So it's been a fun day. You got, you got a, a boot chain. If you kick the home run, and like I said, you got the, you got a joy jar. So there's been a lot of fun, a lot of competition. There's nothing that brings out uh, every emotion in a grown adult like kickball does. But the nightcap for for the event are the celebrity games. Well, there will be two, uh, four celebrity games in total, two semifinal games, and then a third place and championship game. We're going to bring you the third place and championship games live from the main diamond here at the ballpark. Skip, I'm going to go to you. Who are you looking at to be in that championship game? I know who I think it might be, but you're the guy who has the experience with these teams. Yeah, it's closer, really, than I ever thought it would be uh, this year. It's way closer than it was last year, but... You're talking to a guy who got two pop flies caught by Bob, by Bob Pockers. So anything can happen. I, I'm going to go with clean juice and Celsius. Um, built is close to my heart since I'm on the Built Ballers. But I uh, just like what Corey and, and Latard are doing with their, with their team. They were looking pretty strong in the uh, semifinal games. I know the uh, sheets, team sheets, and uh, the clean juice game, that's a tight one that they're locked in right now. I, I, I was leaning towards sheets. But, you know, it, it could go either way. It could be a toss-up, Jonathan. Yeah, look, I think the way Corey built his team, he was incredibly smart. I don't think it's going to have anything to do with Latard coaching that team. He's stacked with athletes on that thing. So uh, I definitely think that if Team Celsius doesn't make it uh, into the championship game, it'll be a big upset. Well, it is called the Corey LaJoy Kickball Classic for a reason. So and we have been um, kind of – Bubba Wallace was giving us a lot of crap today saying that we always stack the field. So – 
We did get beat, so I guess he was wrong. He, he was walking pretty gingerly when I saw him in intros. I saw him with that bucket hat on. It told me it looked like he was trying out for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> it does look like that uh, Team Sheets won their games 7-5. to five, oh. But Alex Weaver is down on the field with the kickball. So let's head down to Alex and see what she's found out about the games and the ball that's being used tonight in the game. Alex? Yeah, they uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for me, gave me the kickball here on the uh, – pitcher's mound I guess we're still calling it a pitching mound in kickball but this is the first time here at the kickball classic that they have used the main diamond they're going to be inside of the dugouts it'll actually be like a baseball game for our guys here on the field the audience is watching behind home plate so skip is it a little bit more intimidating to do it on the main diamond you kind of have to bring the cannonballer action yeah I think it I think it might be I definitely think it might be uh I don't know how much the dirt's going to play a factor. It's going to be hard to get grip. And, and being in the outfield there, you know, the outfielders are going to be playing in the dirt. So trying to make a turn when someone kicks one to you, it's going to be a little bit tougher. So it's definitely going to add a little bit uh, a little bit of adversity. The field is shrunken from a, you know, regulation baseball diamond. So yeah. there there is that to, to contend with, too. And obviously, you know, when you take a look at the field, the the outfield is shorter as well. So by looking at it, it looks like kicking a home run would be easy, but in watching some of the earlier games, not so not so easy. The balls tend to die. Uh, when, they, when you kick them up in the air, if you kick them too hard or you don't get them right, they, they tend to kind of die out in the air. And I don't know if your plant foot's going to be as strong being in the dirt as it is in the grass. Though The other thing that I'm looking at is the pitcher, say, the pitcher plays such a big role in, the, in like just managing the infield. Think about the point guard in a basketball game. The pitcher will pitch, but he'll also, you know, when they bunt, he'll get it and get it to first base. With that big mound in the middle of the field, that's something we've never seen. So that could really pose a lot of, you know, a lot of problems with having to run over that where the ball hits it and rolls off of it. And we do have our championship game uh, set. It's going to be Team Celsius versus Team Sheets, which I think that's a pretty NASCAR-heavy, uh, uh, driver-heavy lineup with cup cup drivers and all the teams have drivers on them but some of the bigger cup names on the team sheets you know ryan blaney bubba wallace like ricky stenhouse jr those guys have got some legs too right bragging rights to driver intros are on the line here in this championship game and i'm here for it i have a question for you about pitching so when we start broadcasting these games there is a certain level of bounce that is allowed. Yep. And there's also a certain level of bounce that you want as a pitcher. Explain that to me because if I'm on the schoolyard and somebody rolls me a bouncy ball, I'm not taking it. Yeah, well, you might have to take it, right? Because you, you're allowed two bounces. You have to get two bounces before it gets to the plate. If it bounces less than that, it doesn't count. But – there's also a height rule, right? You, if it's if it's bouncing and it's only two inches off the ground, that's a strike. If it's five or six on, inches off the ground, that's a ball. What we've seen in years past is cones that you hit and then you have to get through. Well, now there's a mark uh, next to the plate with no cones. So it leaves a little bit of room for, if you would call it balls and strikes, where the cones you either hit it or you didn't and it was higher and it wasn't. So so the ref is going to you know have to have a judgment call there. So you're going to see some arguing. For sure, you know, and if it, if there's anybody that loves to argue, it's NASCAR drivers. Just kick a little dust on the, so, on the uh, ref's feet. So, yeah, but pitching, when, when you get ahead in your pitch, like if you're up two strikes to one ball or, you know, if you're up, you'll – you'll throw a little bit of a bounce to your pitch, and that'll make it want to pop up in the air. And you, you start, when you walk up to take your first pitch, you start with basically the equivalent of one strike and one ball, correct? Yes. So you really have two strikes to give and then three balls. Yep, and the, every foul counts as a strike. Yep. So okay. – It'll be fun to watch. Be fun. And the teams are making their way to the main diamond now for the third place game, which will be the uh, team built versus um, clean juice. So we will have that game coming up here shortly. As you see the uh, team sheets there hanging out in the dugout. There's John Hunter Nemechek checking maybe his phone as he gets ready to head out to the field for this third place game. So first up for this one, they're going to do a little Rochambeau, a little rock, paper, scissors to pick who is going to be home and away for the third place game? What's your go-to, Skip? What do you What do you do? What are you doing? I look in their eyes and I try to forecast what they're doing. You don't have a You don't have a rock. Set. You always go rock. Rock is first. solid. Yeah, got to go rock. But paper is a solid choice. If you if I know, if you call scissors, paper's no good choice. But see, it, both of you said you're rock, right? Most people are going to go rock. You got to play the psychology of it, and that means that if most people are going to go rock, throw that paper, wrap that rock up. Rock, paper, scissors. 
See, scissors. Say we just. Yep, we just. We, yep, two scissors. You, you did that. Yep, that just happened. <laughs> As we see Daniel Hemrick down there, there's Bob Pockers next to Mamba, and I believe that's large from. Uh, no, that's from spider. Well, that's, that's large. large there. The larger yeah. one's large, and the little one's spider. Crazy how that works. It is. <laughs> how come I don't have a cool nickname? Well, you do. We just can't say him on the air. All right. Yes. It's, right it's, now, it looks like the team captains of uh, Jeff Burton, Steve Latart, are. Uh, and Kyle Petty, they're, they're a little, little confusion over there. I think Latart's coaching up Burton on how to play rock, paper, scissors. And that is going to be on the PA. So Daryl Mott is going to uh, call this in here in a second as Jeff Burton and Kyle Petty go for it. I saw the old uh, David Golan down there. The, what do we call him? The Shirley Temple King? He had a clean shoe set. Here we go. Here it is. A little That's early a there from Burton. <laughs> no, no, there you go. You got it. They got it. Rock, rock, beat, scissors. Yeah. Home, home team is built. All right, there you have it. Home team is built. Kyle Petty won the paper, rock, scissors. So home team is built. You are a way. I guess. I just want to correct Daryl Mott. It's yeah. rock, paper, scissors. It's not paper, rock, scissors. It is rock, paper, scissors. I mean, rock, paper, that's, scissors. that's what everybody knows. Because rock is best and rock won. I love the discussion between Burton and Petty after that. You know, two old competitors hashing it out. Once again. Look, Austin Dillon's up there arguing. No, no, no. <laughs> I, he, I, I thought he so, it showed rock. No, he showed paper. <laughs> it was a very, it was a flat scissor. Dad. So, yeah. so Bilt's going to be home and uh, Clean Juice will be the away team. So Star Clean Juice is going to kick first then. Now, who, who do you like on the Clean Juice team? Who, who's the big leg? Who's the who's the guy you're looking out for? I mean, we got Austin Dillon, who has played in the Little League World Series, but is that going to help him out in kickball? I'm not sure. And after that big hit he took this weekend at Talladega, I, I don't know. I look at Jonathan Stewart, NFL player for the Panthers, and I look at Landon Eccles, who just uh, – who is the owner of Clean Juice, but a big-time kickballer and just had his team led him to a uh, silver medal here today. What about Ryan Priest? I mean, he's hit, he tried to captain Insano Corey earlier in the year. Do you think he'll poke somebody out tonight? I, listen. Maybe. He let him know. <laughs> now, Jonathan Stewart in that first game had a couple of home runs. I believe he had a solo home run to kick things off for Clean Juice and then a two-shot run. Uh, there later in the game. So it should be a tight matchup. Uh, you know who I like on Clean Juice, Chuck, is Roger Carruth just, he's got the build of a sprinter. He looks like he would be quicker on the bases. So I think if he could get a solid run, I think he could be a little secret weapon down there for them. Another, I, another person who has strong leg muscles that you wouldn't think, John Hunter Nemechek. Not trying to sound weird, but the guy's got some quads on. Well, I mean, you know, he's 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 shorter in stature, but he is stacked. So, but right now, let's check in on the built team. And and Weaver, she's caught up with uh, another one of our bearded, glass glassy, speckled-eyed uh, compatriots, Rutledge Wood. Alex, uh, how's Rut doing today? They refer to you as a bearded, glassy uh, fellow player is what Chuck Bush just called you but Rutledge Wood is down here he's going to be playing for third place on the built team uh, what do you think of the semifinal there how'd you do I gotta be honest this feels weird uh, last year my team made it to the championship I think as Corey was playing with us uh, and I knew when we were facing off against Corey that was a really bad sign because usually the person hosting the event makes it all the way and I was like this this doesn't feel good Bernard Pollard put it on the roof of the building next door. I felt like that was a pretty good sign. But the rest of the team, we were not as good as BP. That's what I learned. So uh, we're going to play the loser's leap now, which is uh, fitting. And uh, thus far, I haven't hurt myself, which was a real, that was a big check that mark. Uh, but I didn't really budget for a second game. So I'm concerned. Ice, heat. I'm going to need all of it. Rice, rest, ice, compression. Elevation. 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 What do you see so far? Do you feel like our team has a chance to get third place? 
So clean juice is a little stacked. They were hitting a lot of home runs. So I think you need to avoid that. But can we wear the Hot Wheels? Do we have? Oh, no, we have the food. Hot Wheels socks on, and they just didn't, they didn't pull the whole outfit together. Uh, but all my Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge fans, love you. Thanks for watching. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I always try to give a little something for the outfit. Hey, Justin. Hey, buddy. Uh, but, you know, we, the best part is when our coach Kyle Petty points out that all of the NASCAR drivers you see, they look like buff on pit road because you can't see their legs. And then when you see them in shorts, you're like, oh, they, they skip leg life. All of it. All the days. I'm just saying it takes a lot of work to throttle gas. Everything yeah. during a race. Not enough to build calves, apparently, but a lot of work. Hey, I love you. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for watching everybody at home. Uh, I have to go uh, win this thing. Oh, they wrap it up? Classic wrap? Okay. <laughs> Rutledge Wood is always the most fun in the world. Love you too, Rut. Uh, he's going to get ready to attack this diamond here. Listen, right. one thing he pointed out there that is super important with kickball, sock selection. Because if you wear low socks, that ball will hit your shin you're not going to have a good day. So high socks. I also like to wear a little bit, a little bit of a tight a or, kickball or a long hurt, pant. A kickball hurts your shin? Yes, it will. And you go down there and kick it and tell me I'm a sissy because you're going to be wrong. If you slide and you have just organic leg and nothing covering it like pants or, um, I don't know, tights, you are going to get the worst uh, road rash you've had. So all these guys showing a lot of leg down there. It's going to be tough to strap up a fire suit if they have to slide on the home base. Team built taking the field first, and it looks like uh, Mama Smith is going to be slinging from the mound tonight. Uh, you've played with Mamba. You've seen him uh, in in the past. What, what What's your scouting report on Mamba? How is he going to do a pitcher? Well, first off, he's going to do well if he rolls two at a time. He's he's. I think he's trying to pick which one he wants. Yeah, he's checking the density of the balls. Yeah, I don't know. He is from Long Island. New England, Deflate so game. yep, they're they're used to doing that up there. But I think he'll be good. He, he's a seasoned kickballer. He's learned from the best. Um, but we'll see what kind of leader he is from the mound today. Trying to get a rundown of uh, who is in the field. I see Bob Pockers out there looking a little lost out there in the outfield. He's just looking for a story, Chuck. He is. He finds him everywhere. He's live tweeting. He He's, may have to focus on kickball, hey, though, Bob, instead of tweeting. Hey, Bob, does Atrium Health Ballpark have lights? Yeah. It does. I okay. can see the lights they are on. Confirm. I yeah. thought there were lights down there, but they're just his legs. They're the first time he's seen <laughs> lights in a long time. But he's, he went sock selection, tall whites for Bob Pockers. That's a classic tonight. look. Now, don't discount Bob Pockers. He is a runner. He has some, some speed and deceptive athleticism. He caught two of my pop flies last year. I said, I'll kick it to Bob. He'll fumble it. I'll get on first base. Caught him. Made me look terrible. Twice. All right, is that uh, first up for Clean Juice, Landon Eccles? Oh, someone's taunting in the outfield. I believe number 11. From the Sheets team. Mamba it's, will not it's, shy away from talking trash. No, it's, it's, uh. There's the first pitch from Mamba. It's a kick from that's, Eccles. That it's a high catch. ball to Justin Danger Just and an out. It's Bubba Wallace heckling in the outfield. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, he. Oh, I see him out there in the outfield heckling. Yes. All right. That was a good catch there from Justin Danger. Hey, listen, he's on TikTok and uh, recently uh, was posting that he's active duty in the Air Force. He is active duty. I've talked to. Uh, I've talked to him quite a bit. Also, he's going to be sneaky good. I figured this out last year. He was a kicker in high school. Ah, uh, that explains it. He's got that build. Jay Stu with a kick. Used to running. Oh, Not going to outrun that, though. Is that NASCAR chasm caught that ball? Dave Rabel with the catch. I don't know. Can't see his face. On brand. <laughs> I told Jonathan to bring some binoculars tonight, so maybe you could have seen it, but uh, he failed. I told him too late. Here is Mr. Gilliland with the kick. It's a high ball to center field oh, and drops. Oh, oh, is that's that a, a ground, ground rule double there? That's going to be a ground rule double. Yeah, it's interference. Ground rule double. And the cannonball is out as well. He's now, always up to no good. Now, this changes things a little bit because now if you hit a home run, it's a two-run shot, right? Double than one. But Whoa. when you get people on base and you're two outs, you know, it's a, it could be a two-out rally. This is a guy that flexed his quads in, in intros. So if he doesn't hit a home run, this is a disappointment. That I have seen I have pitch. seen cool runnings. 
And the one thing John Candy taught me in Cool Runnings is that Olympic bobsledders, the best ones are sprinters. So this guy better be fast. That is not a great kick. That's I a guess little that, that is a good kick. That's a that's great kick. Bring, that's going to bring a run home. That's a double. Nice little double there. Yeah, so that right there, Merriman, perfect kickball kick. Low, fast, hit the fence, but no chance to catch it. When you flex your quads when you come out, if you don't hit a home run, it's a disappointment. But well, you're just, only allowed so many home runs. What, what is this? It's kickball, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah. Roger Carruth with a high fly ball, uh, and it's caught. That was a bad kickball kick. To I'm gonna, I'm gonna inning. educate you tonight. You can We're educate me if you want to, but I'm just gonna say. But the damage has been done. Clean juice is on the board with one run. There if, goes Mama Smith's clean sheet. If Babe Ruth points at the outfield and comes up and hits a double, that just doesn't doesn't feel the same way. Rutledge okay. Wood okay. talking some some junk there to uh, Austin Dillon. All right, now, as, as they're getting things ready here. Is that Austin Dillon pitching for this It team? is Austin Dillon pitching. In, uh, to his dad. To his dad, who's wearing his other son's shirt. <laughs> I like how he, he, he crossed out. What, what, what is he, Austin crossed out on? The, he's crossed out his name on the back of the jersey? You seeing this? Uh, I don't know. A little Sharpie action. And catch it right there with a 4-3. 43. Yeah. I'm unsure of first pitch. What that just is. a bit outside. I think I know who I'm going to hire for a pitcher next year. You know that uh, Kyle Troop? Trout oh, yeah, the, the bowling guy with the, the afro. I think that's what we need in our lives. That the bowling would, guy with the afro? Yeah. Who are you? I am. Oh, and that's a catch for the first out. Austin Dillon, not only can he pitch, he can catch. Nick Greer, see, just not a great day for the Bilt Ballers. Nick Greer is our fearless leader on, on our Bilt Ballers team earlier today, and that's a lot of what we did. Just that's a that's a classic kickball mistake. You kind of try to bunt it, it rolls up your leg right to the right to the pitcher, and you're on to the next one. Now, are no. you facing tired legs if you've played this full game, this full day of activities? Yeah, uh, I'd say that fresh legs are always good, but no excuses. Out it's here a on the bit of a iron. bomb to Jay Stu. Oh, 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 and he dropped that's it. That's why he was a running back. That's a bit of a fumble. You hate to see it. Oh, man. All I'm and saying NASCAR is. NASCAR chasm. He, NASCAR chasm getting on first with that bumble from yeah, Jay Stu. Yeah, you just let a meme on base. Yes. An NFL player just got dominated by a meme. And Mamba Smith cranking one, and it's good. Oh, oh, caught. Yep. So that's the tough part there is you have to stay tagged up if you're NASCAR chasm. But if he drops that ball in the outfield, now you're so far behind getting the second base. So it's a catch 22. This is two like outs. A normal catch. Two outs and uh, clean juice. Oh, oh he lost the shoe. That's shoe. shoe goes further than the ball. What happens if he caught the shoe? Does that count as two outs? Shoe went further than the ball. That is just in danger. Uh, listen, I just talked him up talking about his kicking career in high school, but Didn't. that's a rookie move. You got to tie those laces, Dan. Maybe it was for the TikTok. You could say a shoe ejected. There's a timeout as he ties his shoe. Austin Dillon ready to roll. He's left. Is He's off. a lefty. Oh, oh and that's oh, a, a catch. Grab. Eric Almirola, Eric I believe. Almirola. Yeah, with a catch. Fueled by bacon. Eric Almirola is a perfect kickball athlete. Tall, lanky, fast. Big inning there, but clean juice uh, still ahead. One run. Built ballers. And they're not the built ballers. That's just team built, correct? I, I don't want to confuse the two. Uh, I there, believe so, yeah. So, a team built with nothing. Nothing to show. As we get set for inning number two here at Atrium Health Ballpark. Ricky Bobby, Ryan Priest up to the plate. How do you think he's going to do? You, you, you think he's going to... How do you think he's going to do out there tonight? Uh, that he's got L41? big calves from up here. He's a ground pounder for sure. He went with a tall black sock option. He's ready to go. Let's let's head down to uh, Alex Weaver. 
who uh, I think is caught up with Austin Dillon, or is that Eric Almarola? I can't tell with the back of the jersey. Uh, his name's crossed out. Alex? Yeah, let's uh, turn around the jersey, Austin. Yeah. We want to know, what's the actual last name here? The last name is Dillon. I just was late, so they marked out Dillon and put Almarola on it. But, uh, you know, maybe it'll bring us some luck right here. We'll score 43 runs instead of three. I like 43. Yeah, that's a good number. Well, we had a question with you concerning you because we obviously know you went to the Little League World Series. So you're familiar with the diamond, but does that help when it's the foot in kickball? Um, you know, not really. Uh, but from a pitching standpoint, it was a clean inning. Uh, that was a great catch by Eric. Looked like an athlete. That's, that's great for NASCAR drivers in general because uh, it doesn't happen very often. Well, I know you're super competitive. How do you feel about your team here tonight? If we lose this game against this team. I will walk straight through the locker room and into my truck and never come back to this tournament again. Not a good loser. Austin, Dylan. Like the team we're playing. Like there's a lot of media on that team. Not saying media aren't athletes. They're people too, but yeah. You can't lose to Bob Pockers in kickball, you know? All right, AD. I mean, he said there's a lot of media on that team and then Ryan Priest uh, just shanks one and fouls it out. You're an athlete, NASCAR driver out there on the on the field. I mean, Bernard Pollard's on that team. He is. And are you guys okay? Because Austin Dillon just called you no. guys. He torched the media on that uh, one. Just me torched and, you guys. Me and Chuck are former media. Yeah. I don't know. Let's I think you guys straight. are full media. What? We're, we're not on the field, though. We're in the booth. So what we're, am we're I considered at this point? I mean, you are a uh, race uh, two-time winning uh, in 2023 uh, front tire Picture changer. Guy, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you got that going for you, which I, is nice. I don't know, man. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit nervous after that. Nemechek back straight to the mound to Mama Smith with the throw to first, and Nemechek is out. So what's the rule about throwing the ball and hitting somebody? You can do it. You can. It's, can it it's very head? risky. It's Does a risky it have move. to be? Where's Where's the the out zone? Can you not go for headshots? I don't. I, I don't know. Like I think if you're head hunting, it's one thing. But I think if it just says you, Eric Almirola, with a classic bunt, he gets there. He's quick. Almirola came to play. Jeff Burton coaching up Tanner Gray down there. Two outs. Top of the second. Clean juice. One nothing over. Team built. Mama Smith with the roll. Tanner Gray with the kick. Deep ball. And nice. it's over for a two-shot home run. See, that's what I call a good kickball kick. You don't mess around with anybody trying to feel it, Skip. You just hit it out, and it's done. That's a great kickball kick. But... Let me tell you how it could be better. If you get all your guys in front of you to stuff the turkey and get full bases, and then you do that, that's why earlier in the day we had a four-run limit on home runs because that's what you would do. And, uh, and you get, when you get good kickball players kicking good kickball. kickballs, that's just good kickball. That's it. It is. As it's 3 nothing, clean juice over team built. And another single there to first. Eric Amarola going to go uh, coach first base now. All right, here we go. Mamba rolling to the elder Dylan. And that's going to drop for a single and advances Austin to second. Rutledge trying his hardest to get him out. I think I think Dylan is teasing him about stealing third base. I mean, this I think is where he would shine as a former baseball player in the base running. The kicking it may not translate as much, but base running is base running, no matter what uh, diamond you're on. Yeah, just the just the di just the IQ of the diamond alone, right? That's why he's pitching and kind of running the field. But that's oh, a no. dribbler, and he's Ooh. out. Oh, speaking Balls of IQ, dropped. he just got out. He ran, and that will before he knew where it was going. End the inning well what you can't do in that situation is run is kick her down the third baseline you can't do that but that's what he did and uh, we will see what happens as we head into the third inning here's Landon Eccles there he's a championship kickballer in his own in the Huntersville kickball league we're gonna head down to Alex Weaver who is caught up with the pitcher for team built Mamba Smith Alex what you got for us I have to keep my family here in check. Mama Smith just got a home run hit off of him. How'd that make you feel as a pitcher? You know, we're just out here trying to do our best. We've, 
I didn't do a good job. But honestly, like we're down large from Barstool Sports. We're down Bernard Pollard, our big heavy kicker. We're just trying to we're just trying to make it happen. How do you feel about your team though, given the injuries and folks that are out? You still have a pretty competitive team there on the diamond. We're pretty competitive. They got a lot of heart, and that's what you need. A lot of this. Um, I don't know how we're gonna pull this out because I don't think we can get on base. But uh, yeah, they, they care a lot. What has the trash talking been like today and tonight? I know that you love to spit some game when it comes to the trash talking against an opponent. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, the ballers earlier today, we took an L and didn't make it to the playoffs, so that was that was hurt. That hurt us. But you know, playing them against these guys, like we have so much fun, and most of them can't do this very well, but I can. So you know. See, never fails, Mama Smith with the trash talking. Uh, the pitcher for the build team out there, but he just got a home run knocked off of him. So I'm just saying, guys, he may not want to talk that much trash until you win. He, he is known for talking junk, but right now the scoreboard isn't showing it and he's not backing it up. But we're joined in the booth now by Philip Belfield with the YMCA here in Kannapolis. Uh, Philip, you know, this is the third year that we've done this and it's, you know, you guys have partnered with Corey LaJoy for a while. Uh, how cool is this event? And, you know, like, how, it's growing every year. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, um, you know, it just feels like yesterday. We, it was during COVID. We were, I can remember our first meetings. We were meeting with masks on and just talking about the idea and for several months. And I just thought, man, it sounds like a cool idea. It just sounds like a wild idea. And just to see it come to fruition is pretty cool. So, and you, like you said, just year after year, we keep adding some different elements. And, you know, Corey's awesome to work with. Um, you know, he's a great person, if you don't know, just to work with, one. But two, he's got a great eye for a presentation and just doing it. If you're going to do something, just do it right. And so he's he's behind a lot of this. And one cool uh, thing this year is there's an online auction. And, you know, you've got about, I think, 40 minutes left. Ends at 8, 8 p.m. tonight, correct? Yes, sir. Yep, and there's some cool experiences. And you know, one that, that, that you're a part of. Which one's that? Oh, that that's the you, somebody could uh, win a, a day uh, watching the taping of Stacking Pennies. I don't know that I'm actually a part of that, but yeah, that, there's a lot of cool things on there. I was um, I was trying to bid on the golf clubs myself. Uh, that's what I, that's what I was into. But yeah, a lot of things that you can go and bid on right now, any from anywhere in the country, you can go bid on it yeah, and I mean, they can ship it to you. There's golf clubs, a pit boss grill, um, the Stacking Pennies experience, um, NASCAR racing experience, Roval tickets, and then all kinds of signed gloves shoes all kinds of stuff so we're gonna hop down to the field real quick i believe we have an injury update with alex weaver alex uh bernard pollard might be injured might be hurt yeah chuck we talked to mama smith who said obviously they were out bernard pollard and large from barstool sports on the built team but I spoke with Bernard Pollard during the semifinal game out there in the outfield. He pulled a muscle in his leg, so he unfortunately cannot be playing here on the diamond. That is unfortunate, and that was a quick uh, half of an inning there for Clean Juice, making quick work of team built. Now, Philip, we, we had the uh, QR code up on the screen just a little while ago, and uh, fans can can go on there and, 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 and bid on the items until 8 p.m. tonight, but that's not the only way that you can help. What are some other ways that folks can help out and, uh, you know, support these worthy causes? Yeah, uh, we're happy to work with Samaritan's Feet. They've got a great mission just as the YMCA. So there's also an opportunity just to strictly donate to the, to the cause as well. So if you don't get an opportunity or you'd like to just make a contribution to the cause, we're certainly happy to to um, receive those and, and really just support families in need. As you see, Jonathan Stewart foul one off. Mama Smith back on the mound. Now, from a fan perspective, watching these games as Jonathan Stewart flies it, another foul ball. He's gone left, he's gone right. He's, you know, he just needs to hit it down the middle this time. But as a fan watching these games, what's what's been some of the cooler things that you've seen uh, throughout the three years and, and this year specifically? Well, you know, I've, I've, you know, I'm a big fan of sports. So, you know, seeing the NBA All-Star celebrity events and the Major League Baseball celebrity events, to me, this is kind of at least NASCAR's major celebrity event. I mean, you see just about everybody out here and then a sprinkle of some other entertainers and folks from different parts of um, the celebrity world. So it's just cool to see different, different folks and um, see them having a good time, seeing them at a different element. 
So you get to kind of see them without their helmets on or whether that's a football helmet or a race helmet and um, just having a good time and interacting with the fans and with each other. Is there anybody that has surprised you with their athleticism? Uh, that, um, that, what was that, a home run by Todd Gilliland just a second ago? I mean, that's, this fence is like 145. He's pretty I mean, tall, so he's got a lot of leverage. To kick it out of here, you've got to have some athleticism, that's for sure. But as we say that, he was uh, tagged out by Mamba Smith. What do they call it? The announcer's curse? We gave him the old announcer's curse. <laughs> there you go. And Bernard Pollard, he put one up in the condos over there earlier. So maybe that's why he's not he's not playing yeah. anymore. He pull, pulled a muscle. But yeah, it's been a man. It's a that's a tough loss for these built guys to lose. You know, they're probably their top athlete other than Bob Pockers. Oh, for sure. John Chris or no, catching and then Roger Carruth. They're waiting to uh, take whichever. And, and Mamba again taunting from the mound. And, and right now, I think Alex is caught up with the man of the hour, Corey LaJoy, down there on the field. Uh, Alex, what's Corey taking away from this? I am standing down here with Corey LaJoy. This is obviously your kickball classic, but I know you're in the mindset now of the championship game. But you play these teams out here on the diamond. What do you think about Clean Juice and Bill out there? So Clean Juice, their fearless leader, Landon Eccles, and Jeff Burton. But Landon was in the championship game of the competitive tournament, so he knows how to pitch. Uh, but man, it's just so fun. I, I love the different. I love the different characters. I love the different drivers, and we've got comedians. We've got CEOs. Rutledge Wood. I don't even know what he is. Uh, but it's just the Kickball Classic is my favorite day of the year, and there's like a thousand people here watching us do it. So uh, it's always a great time. But this is the best year yet. Well, I'm interested as to why you're out here because I would think that you'd be back in the locker room getting your mind right, making sure you're in the athlete mind zone, but you're out here taking it all in. Um, well, it's not often you don't you get to see these guys with outside of a pressure pack scenario where you're also not like trying to kill somebody, right? Like this weekend on Saturday and Sunday, I want to kill everybody else out here. Uh, and I was more of like a competitor mindset in that in that bracket tournament. This was the first year that the ballers had taken an L, and it hurt. Not gonna lie. Um, so we're gonna come back stronger next year with our competitive team. But my Celsius team is a little bit weak. I know we're in the championship game. I don't think anybody on my team besides Kurt Coleman knows what base to run to when they kick the ball. But we're gonna try to rally troops and put a put a good game plan together and see if we can't take the gold medal. All right, that might have been a little scouting report from Corey LaJoy there. Celsius may need uh, a heck of a comeback to win the championship. We, we need some help. Uh, we, we need some help. Um, we'll see if we can't get some base runners going, get get a couple of runs for it. All right, stacking pennies always for Corey. Sounded like some shots fired there from Mr. LaJoy here in the bottom of the third of the uh, third place game. We've got one out, clean juice, three built zero bill just got some momentum though Raja Karuth went out looking didn't even swing at a pitch Mamba Smith let him know and we switched over so we'll see if they can take this momentum and run with it literally so Philip each year this has gotten bigger and bigger like what's what sort of our uh, what are our takeaways from it what, what are we learning from it what are we uh, gaining yeah I mean we just really appreciate the support from so many sponsors. I mean, the, the sponsorships are just continuing to grow. The participation from the VIPs continues to grow. And, um, you know, all of this really just to benefit local families that need support. Um, the YMCA provides over a million dollars of uh, financial assistance right here in the region of Rowan and Cabarrus County. And this is a big chunk of that. Um, we raise in the six figures to make that happen. So just this one event. And that's just speaking for the YMCA. We, there's also a large portion that goes to Samaritan's Feet as well. So it's a big help. It's a big boot there, and it's dropped. That's going to advance the runners and potentially bring one in for Team Built as he hustles across the line. They are on the board with ducks on the pond. We got a runner on first, and we got a runner on second. Yep, and we got, you know, I don't know who's coming up here. It's going to be interesting to see who comes to bat next, but. They, with a home run here, they take the lead. Well, it looks like it's Mamba Smith oh. coming up to kick. So this could be that go-ahead uh, go ahead run at the plate. Does he have home run power? He's got home run power. He's got he's gone with a tall sock option and a, and a 
wristband around his calf. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what, what he can do here. See if he doesn't crack under pressure. There's there the it kick. Is. It's a high, Not deep far ball. Raja Karuth with the catch. Oh, and they're tagging and running. Move it into scoring position there. For Move. that, is, is that uh, Greer? That was Greer. He moved, they moved the, so Mama Smith moves the runner. So that's good, but. It's two outs though, bottom of the third. I've been talking this guy up the last time he was that bad. His shoe went further than the ball. <laughs> we'll see if he can uh, keep his shoe on and get this over the fence. Wasn't his. Danger is his last name or middle name? Danger's my middle name. Danger. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, we need a home run here. That's what we, I would tell need, him if I was down there right now. We need some like good stats. So, so Philip, like if, if you said like, hey, listen, here's a fun oh. fact about the YMCA as the play. Ooh, oh, what a play. That counts. He slid, he's tagged. He's trying to take the base, but that will end the inning. But Team Bill is on the board as we head to the fourth. Now we're only playing what? How many innings in this one? Is it is it four or five? I am not sure what they've done here. Let's usually six. take a look at the replay of this out right here. He makes wow. the throw as NASCAR Chasm tries to slide. And you see his face, the look on his face. He knows he has lost. He knows he is defeated. That's a risky play to throw at somebody like that and to hit him with a laser. That's a that's a huge play for those guys. Let's go down to Alex and see what she's got for us. Well, I was standing with team captain Jeff Burton, but he is now walking out because there's a little bit of a disagreement, I think. Never a dull moment when you have NASCAR drivers out uh, playing kickball. So we'll catch up with him in one second, but you guys walk me through what's happening there. I think what they're arguing about, I think they're trying to say that Nick was home before he got tagged. So they're trying to see if the run counts or not. Uh, I think that's where the discrepancy is. The, let's hear what, let's hear what Jeff has to say about it. I hear you have him back down there, Alex. Okay, Jeff, so what happened out there? We saw you run out. What was going on? Well, they, they were trying to give him a run out of mercy and compassion, and they didn't earn it, but they were trying to give it to him, so we had to go make sure. See? See? And I got the Dillons, and they're not going to let any shenanigans happen like they just tried to pull off. So we just had to keep them straight. You know, officials, you got to keep Kyle pay. Kyle, I saw him give her. I saw him give her a 20. Oh, Kyle Betty's handing out money here. He should have come over on this side, and we would have taken maybe some from him. Look at Roger. He wants it. He wants some money. How do you feel about your team? You guys are up big here, but uh, it's been a fun night at the ballpark. It has been fun. Um, it's uh, it's a great cause. It's fun to, to get um, get guys together that you uh, otherwise wouldn't spend a lot of time with in a, in a fun environment, you know, rather than everybody's all nervous at the racetrack, and you know what I mean? They're not, they're different away from the racetrack, and it's fun to, to get to know some of the guys and for them to know, get to know each other. You know, I think that's what goes unnoticed in these types of things is that these drivers compete against each other, and they don't necessarily like each other on Saturdays and Sundays, but they come out here and you get some respect and get to know each other, and it's, it's, it's great for our sport. All right, go back, Team Patton. That's Jeff Burton, the most animated guy down here on the baseball field. As a big play was made, we got Ryan Priest on third and John Hunter Nemechek on first. So, Philip, thank you again for joining us in the booth. And uh, you know, just once again, where can folks go to uh, help out the cause and help donate? Yeah, so you can go to the Rowan Cabarrus YMCA website, which is rocab, R-O-C-A-B, Y-M-C-A dot org. That will take you straight to an opportunity to donate to the event. And fans, you can check out the QR code right here. You can scan that. We don't see it in the booth, but it's on the screen. I promise it's right there. Scan that. Go donate. Go help out. It's You're supporting a good cause. Thank you guys for what y'all are doing. It's awesome. Thank you for having us out here because this is, the, to, for us, this is one of the more fun days of the year for us, too, it's as broadcasters. And... There we go. Let's see what we have on the field right now. The score is four to one, the top of the fourth. Mamba Smith with the roll. That's a foul ball. Caught for an out. That's now one out.
foul ball there from Austin Dillon. <laughs> Mama Smith getting ready to roll again. Here's the kick right back to the strip to Danielle Trotta with the late throw. John Hunter Nemechek comes across. It is now five to one. And we are joined in the booth now by President and CEO <laughs> of Celsius, right. wearing the <laughs> Celsius headband, the Celsius shirt, and carrying a Celsius with him. Brian, how are you doing tonight? I know you got a game coming up, so thank you for right, joining right. us in the booth. Uh, Thanks, guys. But uh, wh wh what have you been watching out there tonight? What have you been seeing? Um, a lot of craziness, I see. Yeah. Now, is that fueled by the Celsius? It definitely is, yeah. Uh, we, I was in the locker room pregame with the guys, and uh, they were all getting jazzed up on Celsius, so uh, everyone's all hyped up down there. As another run comes across the board for Clean Juice, it's now 6-1. to one. It's getting out of hand, but you, you see a lot. I mean, Celsius works with a lot of partners throughout all sports. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing out here tonight that you think that you think can transfer over to uh, to some other athletes that you work with? Oh man, that's a tough tough question here with all this talent on the uh, kickball field. Um, I don't know. I think um, I, I will say the feedback by everybody on every team has been that Celsius has been amazing. I can't tell you how many players have came up to me and said, "Man, y'all are doing great things with the brand. Love the direction. Love the premiumness." Uh, love the professionalism um, and still a cool sexy brand and that's what we're after yeah i know in the nascar garage celsius has taken off everybody i i think every every picker guy i know drinks a celsius before the race um what what other sports do you guys like like who are your who are your biggest guys whoa oh, I thought that, that was, was yard. that was a close one there from jonathan stewart that was close i thought that was out of here who are the other who are the other athletes that you work with big names that you work with outside of nascar so recently we just announced that we are the official energy drink of major league soccer it was a big deal for us this year um so that'll be going on next year um we just signed uh chicago fc inner inner miami uh with the um in Miami with, with soccer and uh, also New York City. So those are big in the soccer world uh, for us to continue. Oh, I thought that was going to be gone too. Jay still nope. with a bomb and it's caught. Caught it. Wow. So, so you bring up Inter Miami, mm -hmm. right? The yep. Bill Ballers had a little bit of a rough year this year. Do you think you can get Messi to come play with us next year? Because we need some help. Can you pull some strings know, for right? us? That'd be cool. We can bring Messi here next year. That'd be a pricey. Uh, pricey ad adventure. We do have actual grass here, though, so that that's, would be a, a plus for that's Messi. True. That's true. And Oop. it looks like we got the change in inning. It is now six to one clean juice over team built. You know, Rutledge Wood and Kyle Petty are uh, talking things over and, and Weaver, I think has caught up with somebody. Alex, who's that you got down there with you? It's hard to recognize him with the glasses and the Tootsies hat on. And we have a new uh, hairstyle we're sporting. This is John Grice, who's on the built team, but uh, you're playing the catcher. What's your strategy there? Your team's down uh, six to one. Well, my strategy with catcher actually is uh, more TV time, actually, because I'm behind the plate every, literally every at bat. And uh, I mean, obviously, we're, we have some gigantic holes in our outfield. I mean, obviously, when you get the ball out there and nobody can catch, do they need me out there? Yes, of course, but you know, I mean, I left it all out there for the team. There's one strategic difference though, because what if you win one, lose the first one, then win the second one? Because we could be one and one, why are we not in the championship? Again, I'm not the guy that's going to ask those questions, but just think about it. If you lose the first game, win the second, you're one and one. Why do you not have a chance to win? You guys cannot see this uh, on camera technically, but if I just go like this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, there's a lot of lights up here, and I didn't want to, the reflective, uh, you know, rays in my when I'm trying to kick and when I'm trying to field. So I took the lenses out. Uh, but that's a strategic advantage that our team has that they don't have. But it, it's a secret weapon nobody knows about. I'm just saying. A Alex, glasses, Alex, from the booth here. It might here, be the stretch. <laughs> Alex, from the booth here, another strategic uh, thing he's got going on, his sock selection. If you can zoom down to that right, right leg, he's got a long sock on his right leg. Yeah, we've got the we've got the Jordan shorts on. Check these out. The Jays on the the jump man on the side, and we have a shin guard. It's not just a sock, Skip. It's a it's a shin. 
my bat. Dude, this right here is my bat. I don't need it on this end. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been on the base every time, so there's a lot of critiques of my behavior out here, but I've contributed the most to the team, so scoreboard. Glasses with no lens, a Jumpman basketball shorts, and a shin guard is the way to do it. As Rutledge Wood almost takes out some of his own players with that foul ball. Shin guard, that's like a, that's like a gray area rule. Is that legal? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't no, know. Look, but to me, but to me, I think he can work on the four team. Are you taking? Are you taking some notes up here? Because uh, your game's coming up. You're I playing know. for that championship. We need that trophy bad. I told Corey before the we started about any of these games. I was like, I only came here to get the trophy. So what? We better win. No pressure. What are your expectations? How much do you expect to win, and how much do you expect to win by? Because he, he seemed Corey in his interview before seemed a little bit concerned. Mm. Um, we. We're off to a rough start the first game, but I feel like we brought some some talent out of the woodwork um, to this game, the first one. Um, I want to give a shout out to George Jenko, who went yard his first at bat. Uh, that was huge, and he had some tremendous defensive plays uh, to really help us out. And also Justin Haley. I didn't think Justin Haley was that good of a defensive uh, left fielder. Short in stature, but large in game. Right, Justin Haley right. for sure crushed it, and he and he rocks the Celsius uh, the Celsius paint scheme quite a bit. He does. Danielle Trotta with the kick, oh. and it's overthrown. Oh, she's going to round and head to second. Will she get there? And yes, she will. Wow. She's safe, but oh, she better get oh. back on the bag. She she's overstepped, out. and I believe no. They're calling her she's calling safe. her safe. Stacking base she's runs got down there for our stack and paint co-host. Bag. Rule number one: stay on the bag. Yeah. Maybe this is like. Huge Daniel Trotter fan. She's my teammate. But maybe this is why Austin Dillon was talking crap about media members. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Here comes the pitch, and it's fouled off. Team built's got a lot of work to do here with two outs in the bottom of the fourth. They are down 6-1 to one to clean juice. I don't know. What was your score against the built team down there? Five to two, I believe. Five to three, maybe. Where do you think their biggest weakness is? Don't hold back. <laughs> Eric Amarola let, with let the catch. Rip, let it rip. Oh, uh, man, biggest weakness is... Pitching Mamba? No, he was good. Okay. No, he was good. Brian... Thank you for joining yeah. us up here. I know yeah. you've got to get back down the field to right. get ready for this championship game. So thank you again for joining us. And, you know, best of luck to see Team Celsius out there. And, you know, maybe maybe you, you got the MLS thing going. Maybe maybe a little uh, Charlotte FC love in a little right. bit. You know, right. just, just right. throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I got a couple people telling me that today. All right. so, yep. And, awesome. and then have your people reach out to Messi. He can call us. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cool. got it. You got it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you having me. And Mamba Smith back on the mound. Alex Weaver has caught up to Raja Karuth. Alex, nope. There, yeah, there you guys is. are making me run around the diamond here. I have Raja Karuth, who is up big on his clean juice team. These are they're killing the built team, and he's still stressed out on the side here. Why are you? Why, what's happening? Why are we so stressed? Is this live? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um. Anyway. <laughs> I just I felt like an omelet today, Alex. Had had some drops in the in the prelim game. Uh, I had one good kick early, but I thought like there was a home run rule, so I was just trying to hit like a line drive. But I there was no home run rule, so I should have just kicked it out. But I've kind of redeemed myself in this game, so I just gotta kick it out one more time, and that'll be it. Okay, so you're per you're personally mentally stressed out just for your performance today. No nothing against your team. Oh no, I'm just I'm just mad. I folded. I had three opportunities to, to change the game and I folded like an omelet. So uh yeah. I won't do it again though. I won't do it again. You won't do it again. How much fun have you had out here today? I know it's for a good cause for charity and Corey brings the whole gang out. So you guys get to have fun on a Charlotte week. Yeah, it's an honor to, to do this. Corey's asked me to do it the last two years and it's been pretty awesome for sure and for a great cause as well. All right, Roger Cruz, never an omelet on the racetrack, just an omelet on the kickball field. As Todd Gilliland fouls it into the dugout. Folded like an omelet. That's the first time I've heard that one. I, I usually go with a cheap lawn chair on that on that expression. Or a fresh pair of sheets. Oh. Getting them folded. Landon Eccles on first. That is the CEO for Clean Juice. And is, is that a pinch runner for him? Looks like it. Looks is like they went with some youth. I believe that's uh, Eric Amarola's son. 
He came in looking like a baseball player today. Todd Gilliland with a rip, and it's caught. NASCAR chasm not shying away from the catch. Oh, look at the face of dejection on the Shirley Temple King. There is the young pinch hitter. No, that's a kick. And that's a catch. He caught that, yep. And the runner will advance to second. Now, we don't have a lot of stats on uh, the younger Amarola. All, all I know is this, he came. He's never lost a NASCAR race. He's never lost a NASCAR race, undefeated. And he's, he came in with baseball shades, looking like he was ready to play outfield for the Yankees. I was going to say, he's got the like the stance on the bag right now. He looks like he's ready to go. He's poised like a ball player. Two Definitely. different color shoelaces. Definitely a little Make sure he knows his left from right. The intensity in his face. Eye on the ball. Oh, NASCAR oh. has him dropping it. He's going to hit third and round it towards home. And he slides across the plate Goodness. to make it seven to one. Team clean juice. There's two outs, top of the fifth. But that, so far, that was the move of the day to me. Highlight of the game. He sold out for his team, and I love it. Absolutely no reason to slide, but you got to do it. And then you get picked up by NFL legend Jay Stu straight over his head. I loved it. Getting high fives all around from the team. Well, if, if Carruth folded like an omelet earlier, what do you call that? Is that a fried egg? Uh, if I'm, be, if I'm being picky, Raja Carruth could have gotten a second base there. But he stopped running. And now there's a little bit of an argument down on the field with Raja and Mama Smith. And let's take a, as Ryan Priest fouls that off, let's take a look at that uh, run home and the slide and the pickup from Jay Stu. I like how he just went limp when he picked him up. <laughs> like he knew it was coming. <laughs> like it was rehearsed. It's beautiful. Ryan Priest back to kick. Didn't like that one. That's a that's a big bounce. And he's letting Mamba know that he did not like that roll. Poke him in the eyes. Well, Mamba knows he's ahead there, right? So he give him a give him a bounce. That was a good roll. The runner. It's, it's gonna really drop. Nope. It's caught. And that will end the. Top of the fifth, the score is seven to one. Clean juice. Now, hits to hits, you got 13, you got six. I'm looking at the errors though out there. It's looking like we got three for clean juice and uh, only two for team built. Well, it looks like being perfect won't win you the game. Well, like, they haven't been perfect, but they just have, they just have not kicked well. In your expert opinion, what do they need to do to regroup? Uh, you know, they, they've got their chance here. You got a shot at it. What do you need to do to rally and get the win here? She's got to play better. It's terrible. They're like, yeah, what, what's that? I heard he's like the guy that says that plays backup trombone in the school band. He's got to play better. So, yeah, we got to. They can get right back in it. Seven runs. If they get a couple on base and a home run, grand slam, they, they cut it right down. So. NASCAR, NASCAR chasm. chasm should not have taken that kick. That was an awful pitch, but he got him to bite on it. Dude, it's a hard thing to take a kickball pitch and not kick it. And when you're down like this, I feel like you're going to be more aggressive and you're going to reach for kicks that maybe you shouldn't take because you want to create something. As Mamba Smith takes another kick that fouls off. Mamba Smith is choking up to the to the base pretty hard. He's not he's not stepping back. I, I wonder if there's a crown in the batter's box down there. But yeah, he. Uh, he, he shouldn't have taken that one either. He is a veteran kickballer, and we need something out of him to spark a comeback with this team. Here comes the roll from Austin Dillon. What was that? Uh, he was Didn't looking like, like he was going to kick it left Didn't footed. like it. So a little bit of discrepancy there. He put his foot over top of it, so they're saying he swung at it. And he's out. I was saying, I, I he felt like I hit. heard some yeah. contact too. Yeah. I mean, could be off. Knocking, he's not out. Okay. Yep. Trying to dribble her there. He's got a dig to get there, and he's at first. He's going, going to two. He yeah, he's holding. He's holding. He was looking. Uh, my brakes aren't that good. So he, he's so he tried to bait Austin Dillon, and if he would have thrown the first, he'd have been the second by the time the ball got there. But Austin Dillon did the smart thing and cut him off at second, threw the ball ahead of him. I just do a lot of talk. 
just in danger up to kick hoping for a dangerous ball here this and it's going to drop and that's going to advance mamba and we got he's two runners third. on he's, he's going, going to third. three he's going is he's he? holding no, he you better like hold there it. you can't get too aggressive too early you got one out here in the bottom of the fifth this is it i mean you, you got to play smart you don't want to get that out you want to get the run now do you think this shin guard is going to help out now that we know that there is a shin guard in that red sock clearly no it does not help i mean if you're gonna just kick like that it's not gonna help he's got to put that shin guard to use but he did bring in an rbi and advance his runner so but we're gonna need a little bit more than that in this uh in this fifth inning yeah, you're down five here. yeah two outs bottom of the fifth yeah, rutledge not, wood not looking great but if you're an athlete this is the moment you want this is it rutledge wood is not an athlete <laughs> <laughs> so, that's why i said if if you're an athlete love rut let's go that's a rip though that's a they're getting under it and it's caught yeah. to end the inning and the game clean juice third place your third place winners with a score of seven to two good game they're going home with some hardware team built though going home empty-handed with only the memories thanks for trying could have been austin dillon was right and because they won that means austin dillon will be back next year he threatened retirement from the kickball classic if they lost safe to say he will be back. Look, he's a busy guy. He's running a PBR team. He's driving a NASCAR. He's playing kickball. He's got kids. Hey, I mean, pick three out of four. But you know, the sportsmanship, both teams shaking hands, hugging it out down there on the field. And, you know, about to get a little bit of hardware handed out. You can hear it clanking around up here in the booth. And I, I do think Weaver has caught up with another Alex. Some Alex on Alex action. Alex, uh, I got to know the intensity we saw in his eyes when he made he, he rounded a third there. Uh, talk me through it. Let, let's hear it from the man. If you guys couldn't see down here, which we haven't had a camera on him all night, the intensity from Alex Amarola has been the highlight of watching it here. So I've officially named him my MVP of this game. He slid in. We've got the dirty jersey. We've got the silver chain going. How was the game? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was, it was really fun. Uh, the best part was probably sliding into home. Yeah, pinch run, getting home, that was fun. Why did you slide into home? Did you just want to go home with a little dirt on your jersey? Yeah, I, honestly, I just did it for the dirt. Just did it for the dirt. You also got picked up by Jonathan Stewart. That was pretty cool getting to celebrate with your team, right? Yeah. I, when he threw me up and I came down, I thought I was going to fall on, on my back. I, I, I didn't think he was going to catch me. I thought he would just let me fall on my, like, just get down on my legs. All right. Alex Amarola, MVP of that game. Look at the dirt on the jersey. Got to head over and uh, take a team photo. For the third place team as that MVP. Jeff Burton's yelling at him. Get over here, kid. <laughs> Coach Burton yelling at him. Definitely the MVP for that third place game. And he, he had the shades flipped up like a pro. He's definitely a little eager. Yeah, he's definitely a baseball player, for sure. And, you know, there, I feel like there's a lot of guys in the garage that played ball. Like, there's that, that Corey played ball. Corey, Austin Dillon. I know there's a lot of pit crew guys that have played. Um, no shortage of athletes. Definitely no shortage of athletes, and especially right here in Kannapolis. You know, Corey went to Northwest High School with the Seegers, who are major leaguers. And yeah, I think a guy, I think about guys like Wade Moore and, and Kayvon on the 20 car. They they all played in the majors. Even Wade Moore, um, the tire carrier for the 45, he was. Uh, Bryce Harper's roommate all through A-ball at the Nationals played at NC State. So definitely some high-level athletes and guys that are very familiar with the baseball diamond each and every week at the racetrack. Speaking of high-level athletes, Team Celsius heading out onto the field, getting ready to go. 
Jonathan, yes, what are you looking for out of this championship game? We've got Team Celsius, Team Sheets. Man. You see Bubba Wallace signing some autographs. Corey's dribbling the ball, which, look, I, I think, I don't know. I, I think Corey should have should have brought back the, the bandana this year. He's just going straight ball hat. Now, I'll ask it. Last year, he had the flow. He had the main. He still lost this game. Y'all lost. He cut his hair. Is there a correlation with the kickball? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We just didn't have it this year with Bill Ballers. And, um, you know, it was just a... It, I, I don't know. I think you can chalk it up to everything, but we just didn't play good enough. Let's let's head down to the field. I think we're going to do rock, paper, right, scissors Bubba, again. Uh, Steve the target. Rest, but, uh, where are we at here? Oh, feel good. I'm a little stiff. Been playing all day. Pumped to be here, going for a three-peat. Try to beat Corey three years in a row. That'd be nice. So, what would a win here mean today for you and your team? Uh, well, let's see if I can finagle it to make it count for a. Uh, Lock him in the next round in the playoffs. That'd be great. There you go. Bubba's got a plan. And as you know, the group chat will be absolutely on fire after this game tonight. All right, Carson. Steve Letart said he talked to his team about base running 101. Did you guys have a similar meeting in your dugout? Well, I was a part of Letarte's meeting because he didn't realize I was standing there, so I sat there and listened. So, um, no, we didn't. We ate a bunch of food, so we might be a little bit slow out of the gate. But, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming out. Um, excited for this. Here we go. We, are, we have made it to the final. We have Hemrick and Blaney talking right now. Let's see if we can get in on that conversation. Hemrick, They're talking. Uh, we just talked about it. Letarte. Some smack down there, it looks like. Kurt Busch, Steve Letarte getting ready to throw hands. Who's it going to be, guys? Uh, I'm feeling Letarte's attacking this from a statistical mindset. I watch Inside the Race. We're going to go inside rock, paper, scissors right now. I think Letarte wins it. Kurt I think he just rock. texted Todd Gordon there to ask him his opinion. Maybe. Oh, scissors and paper. Told you. Come oh, on. and Letarte gives him the little peace sign. The See you, dude. All right, so. Latart happy with his decision to Owned call it. scissors. He's, he's showing the, uh, I see you with these scissors to Carson Hosevar out there on the field. Carson Hosevar, young in age, but wise in uh, his tactics. Blaney's going with the Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott look today. I don't know. Who you liking this? I mean, Team Sheets, Team Celsius. I don't think Sheets has got it. Celsius is your home team for this game. So if, if uh, Corey's pitching is anything like it was today, it might not be good for Celsius. These Sheets guys are super competitive too. We'll see. We're going to go five innings for this championship game uh, against Team Sheets and Team Celsius. Skip, what you got? One thing, one thing to remember as we see. Connor Daly out there on the field. Logan Miseraka, she counts, a, a girl will count as two runs. So if she gets on base, look for the next person to be bombing a home run. That's what will happen here. So that'll be one of their advantages as Sheets, uh, Sheets I don't see any girls on their team. First up looks like uh, Parker Kligerman. Or is that Bubba Wallace? Nope, it's Parker. It's Parker. It's hard to tell sometimes because you get people coming up. I get there. them confused too. <laughs> Talking junk. Ready to go. Number 7-5. Just need a, a pitcher on the mound and we can get this game rolling as the ref is asking for somebody to get out there and kick things off. Parker Klingerman looking to kick this off. He's been close all year long in the Xfinity Series. A win tonight in the Kickball Classic might be what he needs to carry the momentum in the victory lane on Saturday. Well, you see Steve Letarte's kicking everybody out of the batter's box here because last year, if you remember, there was a little bit of trickeration, or maybe it was the first year, where they thought they were rolling to somebody and somebody ran up behind him and kicked the ball. Yes, last year they thought they were rolling to, jo rolling to Joey Logano but they ended up rolling to CrossFit champion Rich Froning, and that ball still has not been found. 
kick to Kirk Cole. Oh, oh and a collision at first, right. but he's going to be safe. Baseline. He's going to be safe. Parker Who, Kligerman. Who's that playing first yeah, base? He's coming over up there. a little bit Anthony limp there. Alfredo. He may have he may have hurt that foot. He's walking a little gingerly as we look at the replay. The throw from Kirk Coleman. Ooh, and the collision. That's a tough collision they, there. Uh, they may want to get him a pinch runner there. Make sure he's all right. Keeps stretching it out, but you know what? He's a gamer. He's gonna go. You got it. You got to play. Walk it off. Get out there. I don't know. I think you need a healthy horse on the bag there. Maybe they can see if Almirola's kids can throw a Sheets jersey on. <laughs> and it looks we like go. we're gonna have a. Is Hosevar gonna pinch runner? Yep, he is gonna pinch runner. Hosevar. He knows a thing or two about leg injuries and recovering from them. Good thing for him, Brad Kozlowski will not be there when he goes to turn second in the trial. Kyle Arrington back to kick. Wow. What? The joy with the pitch. Oh, Ooh, that yeah. was a bad ball. That was a good pitch, tough kick. Hosevar stands ready at first base. There's the kick through Kirk Coleman's Ooh. legs. That was. Uh... Did you just laugh at him? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, it's one of those things. Like it, you, when you get nutmegged in soccer, like it's something to laugh at, and, it, and when it happens in kickball. That is another thing that you can take a little chuckle over. And if my name means nothing, it means that I will chuckle. Ryan Blaney back to kick. LaJoy eyeing him down. Oh, that's a deep ball to center and caught by George Janko, I believe. What a catch. Blaney, I don't think he was too happy with that. Runners at first and second here in the first inning. Score still 0-0. Zero, zero. George Jenko got to be careful when he catches it like that because the, the base runners can tag up and keep running. So you see another bomb to Jenko. Oh, he drops it. Oh, and a little bit of stumble from Arrington, but Hosevar is going to get across the plate. Did he stay tagged up? Did he stay tagged up? That'll be that will be the uh, the call. Let's see. I'm gonna go to the replay. No run, no run there. Nope. He did not stay tagged up. That thing was still bobbling around, so he's gonna be out. Carson Hosvar doing a great job in the Cup Series this year. They're gonna give him that. They're gonna give him that run. So interesting. We have instant replay up here, but the refs do not down on the field. Stenhouse fouling it off. All right, here we go. Stenhouse at the plate. LaJoy eyeing him down. Stenhouse, their secret secret weapon on this team. Ooh. It's up and it's caught, and that will end this half of the inning. But the damage has been done. Team Sheets on the board, one nothing. As Stenhouse takes the mound, I'm look forward to seeing his pitching. Now, you, it, have, with his pitching, uh, what, what's your what's your advice to him on the mound? Like, what are you going to give him? He he brings it. He brings it. He did last year. Yeah, he brings it. He he brought it last year and. Uh, one guy that's pretty familiar <laughs> with pitching today, Nick Greer from Bill Bar. Man, Man, we had a rough day I, with the Bill Bar. That was rough. That was rough. But all I can say is, you say Stenhouse is the ringer. Is that what you said? Or I, I think and then he might all of a sudden be. he got out. Ah, and he kind of changed Hey, that's the bit. second time. That's the second announcer's, uh, announcer's curse of the day. Yeah, you got to be careful. So we'll make sure we're careful next time. We'll see how he, he does on defense. Maybe that's where he's going to shine. Valid point. Valid so. point. I like that. But let's head down to the field real quick and check in with Alex Weaver, who is caught up with, I believe, Steve Latart. What's the captain? I doing? have Steve Latart, who is uh, luckily for us letting us come down to the first base to uh, coach him up and help him attack. But I want to know, as a captain of this team, did you give a pre-race speech, a pre-game, uh, get after it, we won a championship trophy? How was it in the locker room? We didn't give a pre-game speech. What we did was give a pre-game base running lessons. We had a few issues in the first game, but this game's personal because I was on Team Sheets a year ago. 
And apparently I got cut as captain over there. Something about a former cup champ. Can't work with a separate energy drink. I don't know. But now I'm over here and I'm excited to be on the Celsius team. And I've taken this personal tonight. Corey LaJoy came out here when we were playing the third place game. And he said that the team didn't really understand the basis of the basis. That was the meeting. That's, I got that all cleared up. All good. Yep, yep. I'm not going to say who it was, but Zane Smith has really went to school really well, and I think he's not going to get doubled up on second twice, yeah. twice this game, like he got doubled up twice last game. So now that that's been covered, how do you feel about your team's chances? You are uh, currently down just one, but it's the bottom of the, of the first. Well, I think we're a little bit of underdogs. Oh, this right here is going to – oh, see, it's a bad pitch. We're getting ready to tie it up right here. We're, we're leading off with a, a run. I got to go to work, though. You can't you can't distract me. I got got base running is an issue. So therefore, they need a base coach. I'm just like Dale Jr. in the booth, always bugging Steve Letarte. Uh That's my crew chief in life, but the first base coach and the captain of the Celsius team. That is why you need to communicate out there on always. the field. Steve Letarte knows a thing or two about communication. But if you're not talking out there, you're going to have an error like that and runs are going to get scored. And he did call it, though. He did call. He says, I'm getting a run right here. That's what happened. So we talked. We heard Steve Letart. You know, I, we're going to see a replay right re quick here. Oh, Carson Hosevar's second big collision of the week. Hopefully he is okay. And uh, as we take a look at the replay, oh, oh no! Oh, Again, you, you got to talk. You got to talk with your teammates. Call out who is where. Yeah, Hosevar definitely getting the brunt of that one. So, so we we heard Letart talking about pumping his team up right you are the ceo of built bar but more importantly you are the leader of the built bar team out here and the built ballers what has your day been like trying to lead these men through battle uh, a lot of water uh, <laughs> hydration making sure i get my hydration all day and all night long lionel richie style but uh you know it was good uh, that loss really just brought us down that second game didn't it it's been that a rough was rough day. that was rough i mean it just shows you mentally there's rocco with a single that there. was smart Wise, wise move right there. Yeah, de definitely needed to fuel up with some built bars today after that, after that big loss for us. But uh, you were playing the, the hot corner. It looked like the last game. You were out there in right field. It looked like they kicked every ball to you and you locked it down. Let's see if they can hear. Nope, that one's going to be but foul. Fouls it off. I'm glad you thought that was me in right field. I was actually at third base. Oh, yeah, man. I was the one that. that uh, it was NASCAR Castle. From up here, oh, yeah, you and him he look looks, exactly alike. He looks alike. really good. That you side and profile exactly and everything alike. else, yeah. It looks good. He looks good. So where he were you playing? Third base. The hot corner. The hot corner. LaJoy with the boot, and oh, it's ooh, dropped. Ooh. That's Corey for you right there. He's got a leg. He's got a leg. He's been working out that right leg, and well, Actually, primarily that left leg all season long, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been all year, yeah. all year, all year long. long yeah. And like we said, Logan Misaraka, she uh, she was in front of him on the batting order for a reason because when she gets home, it's two runs. Yes. So he tried to boot that one out, but it stayed yep. a little low and didn't quite get out of here. Now, was Kurt Busch trying to call some plays down there? He was shaking his hands like this. I mean, you got runners on first and second, no outs here in the bottom of the first. Would you call that a play calling? I don't know what it was. It yeah. was a hand shaking. It so. was interesting, oh. though. Oh, that's a good That's going to be a single. I She's like coming it. home. I like it. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep you going. You got to keep going. That's two runs. Go, go. Nope, nope. Oh, they're going to hold calling it. Are they she calling goes, it She's going to go home. She's, gotta be in. Yeah. she's okay. going to go home. Corey's, Corey's going to go third. to there third. Okay. So that is two runs. Ground rule double there. Yes. Two runs for the Celsius team. Which was the, like, truly and honestly, was the best thing that could have happened to them is that ball bounced away. And they called time on it. We had a couple of those today ourselves. Oh, uh, yeah. So third year coming here. Right. Is this your favorite year yet? You know what? It just keeps getting better and better. I can't wait till next year. Even I, though we lost. No, no, no. Listen, we're oh. going to work out every single day for the next 364 days. I just had the Celsius guy up here, Brian, trying to uh, convince him into getting Messi here to play with us next year since they started sponsoring Miami. Did it work? I don't know. Still yet. I'm just going to have you call him, the too. The seed's been planted. That's all that matters. you got to start somewhere. And listen, as long as we water it, there's potential. Amen. Now, how many kids do you have? <laughs> Seven. Seven. Your two boys played with us. We yeah, were missing them ago. this year. Yeah, one was here filming, but uh, my other boy was back home. He just got married. I've got two athletes. grandkids. Oh, they were great. That was fun two years ago when he caught that, caught that, uh, 
that replay when he caught it infield, and Bubba was pretty pumped that year. LaJoy tagged out by Cole Custer there, preventing him from scoring. Dang it. Maybe that's the runners what we do missing. advance. We have bases loaded. The boys. Maybe, maybe we need the boys back. Should I bring, get the band back together? I think so. All right. So Stenhouse is pitching, not holding up to what I thought it was going to be. He's just warming up. I think he's just warming up. I think he's going to start bringing it here in a second. Oh, Zane Smith with the boot, uh, but I think that's going to be a okay. catch. Tagging okay. and going. Okay. I like it. I like it. And sliding I across like home. I... George Janko playing to the crowd. He's like a YouTuber it. for a reason. I like it. His second, his second uh, big play of the day he made some awesome catches in the outfield, and now he's bringing home a run. So it's now three to one, Team Celsius over Team Sheets. Two outs, bottom of the first. Some discussion going on down there on the field. Kurt Busch uh, letting the team know that they've got two outs. Nick, just just as the kickball classic here has just grown, I've watched Built Bar also grow since you guys started with Corey, and the, the brand has just grown. I see it in every store I go on oh, now. Awesome. What are some new and exciting things that's going on with Built? Man, it's nonstop, but we just deal in chocolate all day long, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. We've we've done about 160 different flavors in the last five years, and it's been wild. It's been a wild ride. But we do have a new drink coming out, a uh, totally different brand, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. We'll be announcing that here soon, so we're pretty excited about that. What's your favorite flavor of Bill Oh, coconut brownie chunk. Oh, frozen yeah. or not frozen? Not frozen. Room Love temperature. That. Same. All, all the time. And Same. That catch that? from Cole Custer will uh, end the inning. Okay. I think we're going to thank you again, Nick, for joining us here uh, in the booth. And, uh, you know, tough breaks today out there on the field. But <laughs> it's all for a good cause, it and it's great. all a lot of fun. Listen, Samaritan's Feet and YMCA, that's what it's all about. We're here for the health of kids. And what an awesome blessing that is to be able to help these kids. We need that, and we need everyone out there to be supporting these kids, especially putting shoes on, on kids' feet out there that desperately need it. Thank you, sir. And let's head down to the field to Alex Weaver, who is caught up with Ryan Blaney. The latest winner in the NASCAR Cup Series. Following your win at Talladega, I mean, you have to win the championship here after you win and make it a victory lane at Talladega, right? Oh, I have no idea. I guess. Uh, nice to be in the championship game against a good team. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We're down a little bit right now. Bottom of the second. We'll see uh, what we can do. You're a pretty competitive person. I know that uh, you are... I don't know if this is a surprise to people anymore, but you're athletic. You can play pretty much anything I've heard, but how do you think, rate your kickball skills on a one to 10? My kickball skills lack a little bit. Uh, I'm a good fielder. I'm a very good defensive player, possibly a golden glover. But as far as like my RBIs and stuff and HRs, you know, I'm not gonna hit those. So uh, I'm more of a get on base guy, speed it out. Um, but I, yeah, I'm a, good, I'm a good left fielder. That's about all I got for me. All right, Ryan Blaney, left fielder, but Talladega winner, so that's all that matters. YRB not getting the RBIs, but Skip getting those WINs. Well, hey, shut up. Love it. <laughs> love it. I love what you did there. <laughs> Look, I mean, you're in the booth every once in a while. You got you to gotta, you gotta play into the uh, announcer voice. Oh, oh Harrison Burton a with a rough, hard duff. Tough break. Hard duff. Harrison Burton's sneaky athletic. I think he was a... Um, Look, standout lacrosse player maybe at the Cannon School. That's a bit of a boot there. George Janko I'm again. You, Janko coming in strong here. Those are the surprises to me a lot of times in these these celebrity games is the folks that you normally you might not think about. You know, uh, like this guy's going to be athletic. Oh, no. He's showing up in this championship game. It's Bubba Wallace back to kick. Nice to see he took his pirate hat off. Oh, a little shimmy. Didn't like it, though. One out here in the top of the second. Four to one. Team Celsius. Oh, a little dribbler down the third base line. It's the old ride to school combo, right? Corey used to take him to school. Corey. Back in the day, right? Yep, Corey and Bubba. That's another a, dribbler. That's an out. Didn't, it, I'll, tell you where, I'll tell you what, he didn't take him to bunt school. <laughs> Clearly, he did not. Bunting was not a class at Northwest Cabarrus High School, it seems. Let's I see what he can do if he can two, leg it I here. I thought it was 2,000 year out. Well, we've got two balls, two strikes, one out. 
That's what he and needed. And a rip right there down the third base Oh, line. he's going. He's going for two, and he's going to be going. safe on second. His cool. old uh, ride to school staring him down there briefly after yeah. that, uh, s that double from Bubba. No gas money involved. Another boot to center field. Janko with the catch. Two outs. Man, I think Bubba, I think Bubba missed a little bit of opportunity there, but he's playing it smart where he could have taken off. Cole Custer. General Custer, if you will. Custer with Let's the kick. Go. Bubba watching Great it. It kick. drops. Bubba's tagging and going. The throw from Janko was a little bit off. Bubba's safe at third, and Cole Custer safe at first. Great kickball kick. What do you think, Merriman? I think that kick looked like it was precision machined by Haas Automation. <laughs> I love it. Their team today in the open bracket called the Tools. A pun on words there. Let's take a look at that replay. That kick. It drops. Janko makes the throw, and it's just a little bit off. Carson Hosevar still still holding that wrist. Good thing you don't need that to kick a ball. What hurt? What hurt worse, the wreck at Talladega this week or that collision in the outfield? That's going to drop kick. kick. Bubba's going to score. Cole Custer Cole. rounding Custer. third, coming in. Cole He's got Custer. wheels. He's got the wheels, but man, I believe his camber was off a little bit there. He almost rolled an ankle when he stepped on the grass on the baseline. We Made got ourselves safely. a game, guys. Let's go. Cole Custer's not a guy you look at, man. You're like, man, that guy's athletic. But he just, he was hauling the mail. Host of our leg and that out. We got, we got the replay coming up here. And let's take a look at the wheels on Custer here. You're, you're going to see him come around right there, round and third, heading to home. As back in the game, there is a catch for a third he, out he, he to end the inning, but the damage is done. It is four to three Celsius over Sheets, but two runs in that inning. Yeah, Big Custer, inning. Custer was definitely pushing a little bit tight coming across that third base. He almost <laughs> didn't make it. Almost hit the wall. Lucky he wasn't pushing water over heat in there at the end of that he run. Got, but, he uh, got there. He got there. It's like, Coach, I need, yeah, I, I need the O2. I need the O2, Coach. I need some water. <laughs> Guys, I need some water. Leaving it all on the field. You love to see it. Stenhouse back out to the mound. Kurt Busch uh, talking through a couple of things here. Kurt Busch, call, their fearless leader. Looks like he's arguing with the refs. You know Bubba Wallace never going to skip an opportunity to argue with the refs. Now, I heard on the PA earlier in the day, uh, Bubba's team uh, was playing against the R&D uh, center team here, and uh, they had a little... Uh, Little words about some rule infractions uh, in kickball. Not the oh, oh Blaney oh. dropping it. Oh, you know he. Oh, oh he's out. BJ, Macho Man is out, and I, you, you hate to see a drop like that from uh, from Ryan Blaney. You go from winning by inches to losing a catch by inches. Yeah, that was a tough one. Uh, the more surprising thing to me is that the ball stayed inflated and that B.J. McLeod has no spikes on his shoes after what he wore into if the he stack had of some spikes, studio. He just stuck to that base. That's what he needed. Let's check out the replay as Blaney drops the ball in the outfield. But he makes the throw. That's a good heads-up play, and B.J. stepping off the bag, that's going to get you out every time, Macho Man. In like the rules... Oh, 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 a little bit of a bobble so there. So let me ask you this. How hey, come when you, when you touch a ball when it goes foul, how come it's not in play? Because it's already foul. If you knock it out in the foul, it's not. But, yes, it's it's foul. It's fair, it's fair game. But when you go back to the rules of the kickball classic this year, two things. No gloves, no spikes. To everybody except B.J. McLeod, that meant the same thing. Because everybody else wears spikes under their shoes. B.J. McLeod wears them on top. As we go to a replay of this tap drill, Hosevar having a rough time in right field. Hey, look, people have been telling that kid a long time, use your head, man, and he did it. He, he now did. you're giving him a hard he time did. about it. He did. Golly, he's just taking your advice. Logan Miseraka with the kick, and it is oh, dropped my goodness. by Arrington. Hmm. Kurt Coleman will get to second. Logan Miseraka, they're on first. All right. 
This could change the complexion of this game. Corey LaJoy up now. He is going to be aiming that left leg for the fences. They're dusting the plate off for him. You see Mamba hauling his, hauling his loot out. A little bit of a interference there from Bubba? Yeah. Are you surprised? No, 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 no. These, these two go a long way back, not giving an, e each other an inch. I think he might be confusing Ricky of who to roll to, <laughs> judging by how those look. Oh, the boot from LaJoy. It's high, it's deep, it's caught. Kirk Coleman gonna tag up. He's gonna make it home. Oh, he's, he's going. gonna. He's going. Yep, he is there. Oh, we got a runner going Logan two. Logan going to second. Runner going two. She's safe. Oh, LaJoy she... doing some work though. Getting out, getting the run across, advancing the runner to second. Yeah, he did what he needed. He didn't do exactly what he needed to do. He needed a home run there, but he did advance his runners. Let's take a. So it's a 6 3 lead for Celsius with all two right. outs here in the bottom of the second. George Janko coming up the bat. He's been full of highlights all night. Let's see what he can do now. Stenhouse waiting to roll. Here it comes. Just a bit outside. So, why does the catcher play up so so much? So, what the catcher. Well, yes. Yeah, so, what the catcher going to do is, yes, they're going to catch your bunt and either tag you or throw at the first base. Catcher is one of the more crucial positions to play in all of kickball. George Janko taking away Bubba's advantage. He's gonna boot it to left field. Blaney's ready this time. Redemption for Blaney getting the third out in the inning as the score is six to three. Team Celsius over Team Sheets. Let's head down to Alex Weaver. Who you caught up with, Alex? Zane Smith, we literally had to catch up with him because his head is so into the game that he was already running out there. But I just want to give you an opportunity to explain yourself. Steve Latar, your team captain, said that you did not know how to run bases. So I, obviously, to be fair, are going to give you an opportunity to explain yourself. I mean, he's just checking all the boxes, making sure no mistakes are made. I hadn't made a mistake yet, but he probably saw that I, I was, I, I'm all jacked up on Celsius right now, so I'm ready to run. Uh, but yeah, he's just checking all the boxes, making sure uh, I only got to do anything wrong. That's all. Okay, get back out there. Zane Smith knows how to run bases now, Latart. He's got it. It's, it can't be that hard. I mean, it's just like it's turning left. You do it on Sundays, do it on Saturdays. Some people make it look easier than others every week. <laughs> but Zane Smith, very good at, at turning left. And, you know, veteran leadership like Steve Latart. He's going to need to be able to call on that guy when he's making oh. his Cup Series debut next year. He's going fast, and he's going left. He's going fast and left. All right. 5-3, top of the third. Oh, 5-3. Did I yeah, misread yeah. that? Or well, there was a little bit of a miscommunication with uh, the in-house scoreboard and what okay. we had on the uh, uh, thing, but I believe the... The ref down there was signaling to the booth that the score was, in fact, 5-3. to three. Just what I need to hear. Somebody else's fault. <laughs> As Corey LaJoy gets ready to roll to Kyle Arrington. Bouncing the ball, getting ready. LaJoy talking. He's thinking ready to it. roll. You're shaking your head, Skip. What, what do you see that you don't like out there? Uh, well, a lot of dead time it would be the first thing. That's going. Arrington That's out. with a rip. Five. That's over see the ya. fence. Adios. Solo shot for the former NFL cornerback with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, how does the bullpen work here at kickball is there a backup pitcher if LaJoy lets a couple more home runs go are they gonna have to swap out what's what's protocol Corey's had a tough day on the mound you know he's he's getting older he just turned but 32 or 33 years old last month put him out to pasture he might, he might need to he might, might just become a close horse or, or, do, or do you let the man work nickel. through this do you let the man work through this see if he can uh, find something here uh, the veteran status if you will as Blaney goes to kick oh Ooh. a good catch from Kirk Coleman showing off his safety skills yeah I, I mean you got to let Corey work through it he's a he's a championship guy 
He's a he's a future kickball Hall of Famer, and it's his and it's his tournament. So I'm, I have no doubt he will right the ship. Al Wallace with the kick and a single. One out here in the top of the third. As Ricky Stenhouse Jr. a little pitcher versus pitcher duel. Stenhouse, he having, off. he's having a tough game. Stenhouse? Yes, he is having a tough game. Yeah, but if he puts those CrossFit legs to work, he could bomb one. That's what I thought too, but unfortunately. Well, I think there's a happy medium, right? Like there's there's power and there's accuracy. <clears throat> oh, there's boot off of Jenko's chest. And he's safe at first and second. It was it was coming. Who's on second right now, Chuck? That would be Al Wallace. Not the fastest guy I've ever seen run the bases. Well, well but it's smart. Man. But yeah. smart by him because the last the last time that ran fast to second base, over overshot it. That one is caught by a fast pasta. Bubba Wallace at the plate. Let's see if he can. Two, this is going to be a big deal. Two outs here at the top of the third. Two outs. Oh. Oh, he was wanting it, and that's going to be a catch. Corey gave him just a, just a softball there, too. Just a cupcake of a pitch, and Bubba rushed it. Now, now Bubba's yelling. Well, Corey leaning on the defense of his team to help him out of that inning. But we got five to four here heading into the bottom of the third. Still gave up a home run. It's inexcusable. I don't know what Bubba could be jarring about. That was pretty cut and dry. He kicked it off his foot, out of bounds. Fast pasta made a good play. Still got something to yell about. Hey, but you know, that, that's when you are invested in a game and it's not going your way. I'm going to work the ref every now and then, you know? I'm going to see if I can get some, some calls my way. You know, maybe he's not happy with the way some of the game's being called. Maybe maybe it's maybe it's just for, for show. Maybe he's just trying to rile the crowd up. Yeah. Get the crowd in it. And might I add, it is a nice-looking crowd tonight here. Well, and, and, you know, you, every year the fans and the crowd gets larger and larger. It's a $10 ticket, but that money is going to a good cause. It's it going to help out. Big air. Fast pasta. Big air. Round second. Oh, no. oh, he overshot second, he and they're going to hold him that. there at second. It's a ground rule double, I could've believe. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to put that one on Carson Hosevar again, because, but really, it's going to be on Kurt Busch, because when you're playing right field, the biggest thing you can do when someone bunts, you have to back up first base. So if someone overthrows it, you catch it. Connor Daly fouling it off, hitting the camera guy. Camera guys getting in there. Give him a jersey. Here comes the fast pasta, fast leap replay. He checks, head on a swivel. There's that run as he gets to second, thinking maybe he could get more. Nope, nope, nope. Got to go back. Went. Ground rule double. He wasted more time coming back. Yep. Commit, man. But again, each year the crowd has gotten bigger and bigger, and it just you know goes to show you that you know, this weekend we're heading into Roval Week at Charlotte. It's a big event. All the drivers showing up and bringing their friends out as there's a catch from Al Wallace to get the first out. But on the screen, you can see the QR code. If you scan that code, you can help donate to Samaritan's Feet, to the YMCA here in Kannapolis, and, and help raise money for a good cause. Yeah, it's always cool to come out here and do this. Usually, you know, we we talk to Manny from Samaritan's Feet. Just something something cool that they do, something humbling that they do that I think is uh, super beneficial, obviously. And then, obviously, we all know that uh, the benefits of the YMCA. So scan that, donate, and uh, help round out the night for a great, great cause. Justin Haley with a dribbler, and are they calling him out? Why? Or safe? I I he's got to be out. Why? He lost the ball. You got to hold him to the ball. He tagged him with it. Yeah. That's an out. That is definitely an out as we end this inning. Five to four. Bubba's still fussing with the refs. Hey, man. Sometimes you just got to let them know. As we head in. Let's check in with uh, Ricky Stenhouse, who is with Alex Weaver. Alex, what's, uh, what's Ricky feeling down there on the mound? 
Ricky is on the mound for the Sheets Laundry Club team. First and foremost, they want to know how you're feeling out there on the pitching mound. Well, I was feeling good the last two innings. I think Corey set me up a little bit uh, before we started the game. He said, hey, my team's not very good. Take it easy on them pitching. And then they scored, you know, five runs there in the first inning. So kudos to Corey for playing it, uh, you know, his way. But our Sheets Laundry Club team uh, is starting to get in our groove. We need to score a couple points here. And I would feel a little bit better, a little bit better about it, but um, it's tougher than I thought it was going to be. Oh, tougher than you thought. Well, you wouldn't say that Corey LaJoy may have been snowballing. I think is what you're sounding like. But great fans out here. We have a great environment. What's it been like coming and hanging out at the Kickball Classic? It's really cool seeing you know more and more fans every year turn out for this. It's awesome. Uh, I was just talking to the owner of the the uh, field here, and I told him it was super cool that you know we're playing on the diamond this year, uh, so a little bit closer for for all the fans, and definitely a, a different atmosphere having uh, all the fans here and uh, us kind of on center stage. So it's really fun, and uh, hopefully we can pull out another win. Corey LaJoy snowballing. We wouldn't know a thing or two about that, huh? Playing possum with him, Alex. What you know about that, Skip? Yeah, I mean. These race car drivers need to know one thing about other race you car drivers. You cheat every weekend, Skip. Tell, tell <laughs> I, us I about do it. not. That's what he just said. Not. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. What I'll say is race car drivers need to know to not trust other race car drivers as that ball almost hit my kid. <laughs> that is my kid running after the ball. But you know what? She's helping out. She's, she's making sure that that ball gets back to the referee so they can get it back in play. The joy with the roll. There she is, my oldest. Fast pasta with the catch. Fast pasta with a weird, like a weird catch angle. He, uh, a lot of times I like to cradle it. He kind of went with like one up, one down. Didn't really know how he wanted to catch it, but came down with the ball nonetheless. Cole Custer. I'm just laughing at crew out there. Back up to the plate. the rocks and sliding around. Oh, and Tomey. Getting after it, dude. Little dribbler there. Oh, man. Cole Custer might be the MVP for the Sheets team. He just ran to the outfield. <laughs> And once you get that the guy that going, it's it's hard to slow down. We gotta you know? get Gene to order him a pair of drilled and slotted rotors because he cannot stop. What's that? They say torque, horsepower is how fast you're going in your defense, but torque is how far you take the fence with you. I think he's got a little bit of both. He's torque. No up. breaks though. No <laughs> breaks on sure. Cole Custer. Why are there two first bases? So. Hosevar with the dribbler to Coleman, making the throw to second. Oh, he's safe. He's safe. He's he safe. gets under it. Safe. He is safe. What an athlete. They're Cole Custer. Great play. There are two first bases because Here's the, the, the one closest to the line is for the first baseman to stand on, and the one outside is for the runner. Check out the replay. Cole Custer getting oh, in. Yeah, yeah. He's just use safe. your use. Use those glutes. It's a good heads up play he there by Cole Custer to get down, get under the ball, to get safe at second. I'm going to say the Roval's probably not going to be the funnest place to race a car with a bruised tail. Oh, they called him out. What? What? I don't know about that. That's a terrible call. I don't know about call. that. They, we need to show them the replay. Terrible call. He was trying to signal down to the field that he was safe, but they are making the call that he is out. Kurt Busch throwing his hat. He should. Kicking dirt at the ref. Let's take a look at that replay one more time. Cole Custer running in, and you see him slide. Connor Daly foot on the back. But He's Cole, Custer's there. He's there. He is there. That's a close call. Is, and see, that would be cause for Bubba to go talk to the ref. Maybe, and listen, the ref. maybe I, he was working them early for this. That, Bubba, maybe if Bubba was nicer to the refs, they wouldn't have called him out. I don't know. Yeah, it could go not, two Bubba's ways. Or, coach. See, or now you got Blaney in there talking with him. The whole or, team is over there talking. Maybe Bubba has been right this whole time. Kligerman up to kick. Oh, and that is a catch to end the inning. Man, it is called the Corey LaJoy Kickball Classic, little, and Corey Celsius cooking. team gets away with it. I, I don't want to be – I don't – Want to believe that, but I we, see uh, Kyle I see Arrington Bubba and Bubba Wallace it. having a conversation with the uh, referees there. Kurt Busch looks like he's Cole Custer's. I mean, clearly putting his body on the line, yeah. sitting there, squatting down, a little hurt. 
Cole Custer's out there sacrificing his body, and we were just taking it for granted at the Man. football classic. Though. He was pushing tight through three on th the third base on that first run he scored, and now he got a little loose on second base. Bubba's going to walk out. He's going to yell at the ref out in the outfield now, too. <laughs> he should. Just, I think Bubba Wallace next year, instead of playing, needs to be the head referee the for the celebrity of game. That, I, I would love that. That would be an interesting addition for the fourth annual Corey LaJoy Kickball Classic if uh, you had <laughs> celebrity referees involved oh. as well. Yeah, that would might cause a little bit more turmoil on Sundays, too. The Macho Man's up. The boot. Blaney Back again. to Blaney with the catch. Now, if your team sheets, you got to shake it off, get your head back in the game. You're still in this bottom of the fourth, five to four Celsius over team sheets, but there's one out here. So they got to dig deep, play some defense, and they're, they're not out of this yet. No, they can't keep up any runs here, though. I don't know. I'm calling the police, filing a report, because Cole Custer was robbed today. Robbed. Hey, I'll be your witness. You can see Cole down there on the, the sideline. Still uh, looks like he's fuming. He, he should be. I don't know if he's fuming because he's mad or if there's just steam coming off him because he's hot and bothered. There's another foul ball. Yeah. <laughs> it was the, the brakes go. Cole Custer here. has denied an interview. De Decline the comment. Is that what we call it in the media world? No comment. There's the kick. Oh, oh. terrible throw. Oh. My wife stopped it. Carissa, don't touch that ball. They're holding him there at second. Look, if you're going to throw a ball into the dugout, that's on you. That's that's an error. That's not like a ground rule double thing, in my opinion. It, it is, but when but when a fan interferes, you have you have yeah. no choice. She helped. She she, she helped, helped the cause, which is, which is why you call it a ground rule. It's going to go right over there. You see it. Just a bit Roll wide. right past Toe Mater golf cart there, there that Randy goes. was always so proud she did, of. She did the one hand. The showed, way she threw it back, she, she almost the, knew that she shouldn't have interfered with showed it. Showed off the nails. Hey, she's also a championship kickballer in her own right. She's she got runners for the kids. Runners on first and second. LaJoy up to kick. We have seen this twice before. He has failed to deliver a home run. Will he get it his third time up? He delivered a home run just for the other team, Skip. You're forgetting about that one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> So this is what you want, right? This is why his lineup is like this. You got fast NFL Kurt Coleman on second base. That's a Logan big. Miseraka on, on first, which would be bounce. two runs if she can get in. And the big lefty up to bat. It's his kickball oh, tournament. Wait a second. And he strikes out. He strikes out. So Damn, I was just hyping him <laughs> up. Hyping him up and the he pressure. strikes out. You let me the down. Cr the crowd letting them know as well that they're not happy with that. But them's the breaks as Janko mm -hmm. fouls it out. Tough day. mizoraka has got some wheels. That she has gotten on base every time she's been off, up. Off of his foot, and she is gone. Janko with the rip. Blaney with the catch. There's still life for this Sheets team going into the fifth. That ends the inning. It is five to four as we head into the fifth. The all important fifth inning. Look, looks like we're lining up with uh, Cole Custer here. No? No, no he no. just got out. No, we, that, that's, but here, uh, here. Oh, Anthony Alfredo. Alex Weaver uh, catching up with uh, Fast Pasta. Alex, uh, what's that first baseman got uh, for us tonight? Yeah, the first baseman over here, Fast Pasta on the back. Anthony Alfredo, obviously, is the, the OG name. That, but we're going to call him Fast Pasta because your base running skills, you move around the diamond. Uh, is that natural, or do you practice leading up to this week? I know I played a stick and ball sports growing up, but never uh, never really kicked ball since probably elementary school and never played baseball. So I was learning on the fly, but starting to figure it out here late in the game so we could execute. Uh, Parker Kligerman and I had a big wreck in one, but we're good. We're still going and uh, got to close it out. How do you feel about your team? Oh, I'm, I'm pumped, man. I'm thrilled. Everyone's doing a good job, learning a lot and having fun. That's what it's all about. All right. Anthony Alfredo, fast pasta out there on the diamond. Word on the street, he played a lot of kickball online as a kid. Uh, getting him ready for this moment. Yeah, I kick ball. Hey, what, what would that be? We? <laughs> yeah, I we. He was a big Wii Sports guy. 
I was trying to think of something smart to say, but I got nothing because I was trying to, there was an old kickball game, I feel like, on uh, MS-DOS back in the day on the uh, computer gaming. Arrington back to kick. Corey has ramped up the heat. He's put 10 more mile an hour on that ball. Do you he think he's doing it for win. dramatics? Is he doing it no, for ratings? No, he's, he's doing it because he's had a rough day with the built ballers and he's trying to bring this win home for his team. He doesn't want to get skunked out of medals for the day. Joy with the pitch, kick, it drops for a single. It's what you need That's if your it. team shoots here. Here you go, you got this week's winner up. Ryan Blaney walks up to the mound. He has. You all right, Chuck? You just had, I, just had a moment. I had a moment. I don't know what happened. I, 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 I blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Listen, he, he put his team right back into the playoffs this weekend, and let's see if he can uh, do the same for the Sheets team. Is that his team or is that your team? You put, you, shouldn't you say you put our team back in the, uh, or are you being the objective broadcaster up here in the booth? It's our team. Yeah, you go. Kind of getting Corey LaJoy. Own that, man. Own that. Kind of getting Corey LaJoy and Ron Flores mixed up. The wheels are falling off. Oh, oh Kirk Coleman oh. didn't know where he wanted to throw it. That was just an interesting slide from Arrington there. He almost like tucked it up like he was uh, like like a, like an egg. I don't know if that ball rolled off of Kurt's hands weird or what, but it did not go no, where it was targeted. Here's Wallace with the boot, but he's just not the fastest base runner out there, so that, that's a little bit of vulnerability. Doesn't matter if you go yard, Ooh. but you need to get the ball out further yeah, than that. I think the goal is to have it go forward. Yeah. His sock choice, he's gone with a full leg wrap on his right leg. Nothing on the left leg, so he is ready to go. Cuts down on drag. It's actually side force, helps him turn left. Just or like hold your car. hamstring together, one or the other. It could be both. Wild pitch there from LaJoy. Just a bit outside. Here we go again. Kick, and it's foul. Fast pasta trying to make a play on it, but not. Kurt Busch heading out to first to give Blaney some instruction. Who's your, what to do who's your MVP on the Celsius team so it's far? It's got to be Janko. Janko started oh. strong. Got to tell you, though, Fast Positives is making some strong plays over there. At so first. this is it. The this right move there would have been to get the guy on second to third base, and he did not do it. They hesitated. Is so whoever's is the base running coach at Sheets, they're going to have a hard time sleeping tonight if they don't win this one. This is the inning, right? Now this, this is, is one out. We got one out here at the top saying. of the field. We've if seen they, a lot of balls caught. If they can't score here, then this game is over. Stenhouse needs to make a good play on the ball here. Just just, just put it into play. A little small ball, if you will. Well, I mean, you still got to think about, you gotta, you're you going to force a runner to third, so you can't play, play so small. Oh, They're yeah. going for it, though. That's the that's Also the can't thing. play on the warning track. That is what happens when you try to kick the ball to next week. It usually rolls up your shin and to the dugout it goes. There's a little dribbler going to, ooh, see? safe there oh. at. Safe. He safe. better be safe there. He's oh, calling okay. him out. No. He looked out. He tagged and went. We That's can, the tying run there. We can watch, but he looked That's out. That's five to five. We got a replay coming look at up a replay right here. here. I thought I thought it, I thought he beat him. Tying run came across the board. Blaney is out at second. As we take a look at the replay, see there's the kick and the throw. Thought it was that's he's good, good. He's there. He's safe. That's that's I that's disagree. twice now. You disagree. I disagree. That's, I disagree. I'll have to watch it one and more And there's going to be a little bit of a conference. It looks like at the mound. Kurt Busch going out to. Uh, oh, he was <laughs> told by the uh, refs to stay back. Get ejected. Come on, bring the outlaw back for the kickball game. Come on, Kurt. Get thrown out, Kurt. Oh, he's listening. He can hear it. Blaney. Blaney's. Blaney also knows that he was safe flying that plane into second base. Blaney got his pilot's license. <laughs> oh, and they're sticking with the call. Ooh. Was that game? No. Crowd not happy with that call. 
But we have a tied ball game here in the top of the fifth with two outs. It is five to five. Harrison Burton up to kick with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. on first. That go ahead run in play. LaJoy rolls the ball. And Burton doesn't like it. Hey, a lot of poise from the young man not to take that one in this high pressure situation. It's pressure like this that forges champions. He's been he's he been working with a longtime crew chief Jeremy Bowens these last couple weeks. I've won a lot of races with Jeremy. Looks like he's got this young man tuned in. Let's see what he can do on this pitch. There's the kick. It's up and it is caught by Justin Haley to end that half of the inning. Theatrics almost had that ball on the ground. You got to just play it straight. But yeah, yeah. A little flare from Justin Haley. Yeah. Now, if I'm Kurt Busch right here, I'm calling my team in and I'm, I'm pumping them up. We got to play some defense. You're tied going into this, this end of the fifth inning. It starts and ends at the pitching mound. We got to see what Ricky Stenhouse is made of right now. Can he send this one into extra innings? What's his pitching nickname? What are you calling him? Uh, well, if we put some spin on the ball, we call him Spin House. Ricky Pitch House? That one wasn't good. I, yeah, no, no. I like Spin House, but let's see what he's got here against uh, 015 Fast Pasta. Iron him down. There's a short kick and a catch. I would say that Stenhouse's balls are about 10 mile an hour slower than what LaJoy is throwing. How does that help or hurt the it speed hurt. of the pitch? It hurts a lot. Um, Connor Daly with a high fly ball and it's caught. That's two outs. We're going into two. extra innings, I we'll think. We'll see, we'll see. A one home run from Zane Smith, the man who does not know how to run the bases, can, can send this one home. Is Charlie Plank out here? Here's the replay of that catch. The roll to Zane Smith. It's up. Blaney making the catch Ooh, to oh. end the inning. We're going to extra innings here. The dog yeah. of the week is not here, but if he was, that ball would have been gone. Charlie Plank, that is. Great to go. Five to five here after five. What are we going to do down here? A little conference at the mound. I think they should arm wrestle. Are they going to paper, rock, scissors for the... No. Play another inning. <laughs> Talking it over down there. Is this sudden death? Golden, it, golden it, run rule? Is it first run scored, wins? I mean, it's not league play, so, the, you know, the rules are, can be a little bit fluid. Honestly, it'd be cool if they just rolled balls and whoever kicked a home run first wins. Alex, you know, I, I know she, Alex is down there. She's trying to figure out what's going on, uh, but it looks like we might have one inning to go. And uh, it's been done a couple different ways. Back out to I've seen them put people on second base with two outs, and you got to, you know, just do your best. Uh, I mean, Team Celsius has taken the field again, it, lo it looks like. Yeah, I'm happy we're not ending this in a rock, paper, scissor battle royale. As much as I love. Right, let, let's let's head down to Alex. Uh, Alex, Alex, what what's the game plan here? What's going on? What are we doing? Okay, well, apparently it's called international rules for sudden death. So it is basically they're going to have a runner on second, and it's one out per team. So international rules of kickball. Who knew? All right. Well, I did because that's okay. what I just told you guys. <laughs> We've had a lot of international flair in the Cup Series this year with, uh, you know, the Chicago race. and uh, oh, Bro, <laughs> how Shane Van Gisbergen's calves. If he was here right now, if he's here next year, these guys are screwed. All right. Is that Parker Klingerman? I Park. don't know. You, you got to put Cole Custer on second base as fast as he's been. I don't know. That, that, kid, hadn't touched, that, that kid hadn't touched the pedal in the middle all night. Parker Klingerman's going to start on second base. Kurt Busch out there giving him all the tips and tricks. Connor Daly talking a little bit of trash at the moment. It looks like uh, Kyle Arrington is going to be kicking. I think Kurt said, when you, you run that way, if they kick. 
You want to get to that little base with the C on it, that home plate. Yes. Oh, Ricky Stenhouse getting in Kirk Coleman and Corey LaJoy's head down there. Oh, a little smack talk going on. You know what I do? I pop him right in the head with that ball. A little point. That's <laughs> just. LaJoy talking it over with Kirk Coleman. Need a home run here. Sudden death kickball here at the Kickball Classic. Let's see who's got the grit to take it home, boys. Waiting for your pitch. He's just got some speed on that thing. But calling it a strike. Comes the pitch. Kick. Oh. It's up. It's oh, dropped. Goodness. Parker's holding it, oh, it, it holding it third there. I went. I they're win. gonna call I, no it, I think they're, they're gonna call it foul. They're gonna call that a foul ball, which is the right call. He was out of bounds when he touched it and it shot it inbounds. So gonna have another shot at what Corey LeJoy did there since he's ahead on the count. He sent it a little bouncy on that pitch. As we look at the replay here. Yeah, they were foul and he knocked it in, but he but Oh, oh, no. Terrible. That's an out. He's tagging and going, and that's going to... Oh, ooh. in the face! Parker Kligerman. In the inning. Kurt Coleman, his second dramatic um, base running incident. First one was against Beaver Dragon. This one against Parker Klingerman. Let's see. Let's take it. a look at that replay there. Little dribbler. LaJoy makes the catch. And Parker oh, deciding to go the for base it, up. kicking That's the base That's a little bit of board. interference, in my opinion. Parker's like, bro, I don't play in the NFL. Why are you, why are you laying me out like that? That all started with great pitching from Corey LaJoy. He knew he was ahead in the count, so he sent the bouncy pitch. That shot the ball up in the air, which allowed them to make that play. So Team Celsius going with Kurt Coleman out there on second, and is Logan going to be kicking here? Yeah, they go. They go to their. If, I mean, she's been a strong kicker all night, getting on base. That's yeah, what you want. She's been on base every time she's been up. Corey coaching her up a little bit. So they start at the top of their lineup on for, on second base, and the second, you know, the second person on your lineup is is the one kicking. So. A foul kick there, right to Kurt Bush. Let's see what 6-3 can do here. Looking and calling that one a strike. One out here in the oh, in the bottom of the sixth. No out, sorry. They reading the board out there and it's already got one up on the board. They should have one out. You start with start one out. Start with one out. Yeah, start the inning yes. with one out. This so is according to the, the IKA, right? International Kickball Association. The joy with oh. the kick to Bubba making the catch. They're going to keep this one going. In this inning. Clutch play there by Bubba Wallace. Team sheet still alive here. I'll say this. Corey LaJoy has not been hot in the batter's box. We're going to meet about this again. It Another looks like. conference, yep. Hopefully Weaver can get the intel for us. This guy's saying, I've had enough. <laughs> Bubba Wallace has been yelling at me all night. I am going home. Good luck you guys figure it out. You think Bubba's just jealous of his hat? Bubba had the same hat on before. Let's go down to Weaver who's got an update on uh, what, uh, what the game plan is here. Okay, so this one is a little bit more confusing. We're going to start each team with a full count. A player will still be starting on second, but you have to drop one player out on the outfield. Okay. Okay. That's what they're doing. Okay, so we're going to go eight players in the field. You, you have, have a little full bit count, room. so you have to, it's either a strike or a ball. And we are forcing runs here. That's what we're doing. We're trying to get some action going. So is it, are we playing an inning or is it the first runner that scores? I think we play an inning. Okay. You can have yeah. a choice, but this isn't the NFL. People get, they get people 
another chance to come Honestly, skiff, out here. It doesn't seem like anyone knows second. what it is. They're making up rules to say. That Wallace, guy in the bucket hat would argue with you. Al Wallace now on first as uh, Corey LaJoy walks. Al Wallace, Stenhouse up to bat. Runners on first and second. Stenhouse oh! with the kick. Is it going to drop? It drops. It's a ground rule double. Blaney's going to score. Al Wallace will hold at third, but the damage is done. It is now six to five. Team Sheets. I like this Sheets team. I like them. They've been robbed twice in the outfield. That's so you. I, I like the, Hey, they're winning in overtime. I like them. <laughs> I'm going to go with them. I bet the house on them. Let's take a look at that replay. So they got lucky that that bounced over the fence, because if not... Jenko with the hustle going over the fence to try and get the ball. But still, it's a ground rule double. Yeah. Just let that one go. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. Bubba Wallace up to kick. Ooh, and he fouls it off. Stenhouse wanting to go. And that'll, turn, that'll do it. That's three outs here, but the damage is done. It's six to five. Let's see if Team Celsius can rally back and uh, give us some more free kickball. That ref has never been happier than calling Bubba Wallace out. <laughs> These guys been yelling at me all night. You are out of here, buddy. Blaney could have just brought home the run that changes us all for the Celsius team. You know, we've had fireworks on the field. There's going to be fireworks after the game here. It's just a night of fireworks. Will we see some fireworks at the Roval this weekend? I, I would I would imagine so. With the playoff implications on the line, we'll see. Well, you, If you guys are watching this, you'll know. If somebody dumps somebody out there and it stems from the kickball classic, you will know because you watched here tonight on YouTube. Well, who do you think's got beef out here tonight? Well, Bubba Wallace and all the officials but they ain't racing. That you know of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Late entry. Nobody's messing with Macho Man down there. Kurt Col if Kurt Coleman, if Kurt Coleman was in the Xfinity race, Parker Klingman would probably send him firewall deep after that. <laughs> but lucky enough for him, he does not have a ride this weekend at the roll. Well, there's some more arguments Question at the, the mound. Here. You know, they're just saying that... Uh, they argued about the lineup? Candlesticks made a, make a nice gift. We'll try and find some chicken. And uh, let's go turn two here. Bubba Wallace staying warm out okay. there in the outfield doing some jumping okay, jacks. Okay, here's what happened. They did not realize they could have one... They had one too many players on the field, so they had to get rid of the player. Kirk Coleman called them out. So only eight players in the field. And they're having to shift. Blaney talking to... It over. It's Ooh. a high ball to center. Oh, oh my you God. Got a top, you got a top fast pasta coming across to score the tying run. Oh, man. A dejected Ricky Stenhouse on the mound. Just staring at each other out there. Thought we were playing kickball. That, Communication is key. That was they're a not communicating. puff. Janko with the kick. And that's an out. He's throwing to third, safe at third. Right now, fast pass to Janko. Uh, Those are the guys that are making some plays out there. Janko's tonight. made the bigger impact. I mean, all, all Alfredo had to do was run. You gotta, you gotta get the ball down. But that was, that was just an uh, inexcusable error. That, that winning run, that go-ahead run, is on third base, and we've got two outs here in the bottom of the second. Ricky Stenhouse looking at his team to back him up, get that defense. Maybe we'll see eight here. Here's what I'll tell you on that last play. Whoever's playing left field should have stayed at home. They ran in front of the guy who should have caught it and then did not catch it, so it's Zane on them. Smith with the high Let's ball. You got to talk here. No! Oh, and it's dropped, and that is the winning score. From George Janko Carson giving Hosevar. Team Celsius the win. Hosvar just laying out in the outfield. He's gonna My sleep goodness. here tonight. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't go back to the huddle. Now, if you're Stenhouse, are you spinning Hosvar? Uh, <laughs> that, teammate that on teammate action. Happen. He's not in the race. Rocket fell in the race. Ah, fair. 
Let's take a look at that out again to end the game. Here comes that play. Just drop the bread in the basket, and then you drop the basket. He knows. As soon as it hits his hands, it's out. That's the second guy that ran in front of Arrington and did not catch the ball. So you were asking who's, who's going to have beef from the kickball game. Everybody on the Sheets team that runs in the Cup Series on Sunday against Carson Osabar. And there you have it, Team Celsius. Rockefeller's in the race in the 42, so. Oh, Hopefully man. there's no mistaken identity. Okay. Team Celsius, your third annual Corey LaJoy Kickball Classic Champion. Is this Steve Latart's first win? I believe this is Latart's first win as a captain. from NASCAR? Wait, hey, it's his first win as a team captain here in the Corey LaJoy Kickball Classic. Let's go down to the field with the man of the hour, the champion, Corey LaJoy and Alex Weaver. I don't want to say who should have won this tournament, but obviously it's fitting that Corey LaJoy is the champion of the kickball classic. His team Celsius take home trophy. How do you feel about your team's effort out there? Some overtime. We got some kickball after dark. We got some free kickball. All the fans stuck around, got a show. It was a war. Um, so fun. Um, just thanks everybody so much to uh, give us their time for the YMCA and Samaritan's Feet. This event means so much to me. I appreciate everybody supporting and watching on YouTube. Um, and I'll see you next year. We gotta, we gotta uh, keep it going. But it was unlikely. We had, a, it was like a kickball for dummies lesson the entire game to try to figure out, teach people how to base run, how to catch. But um, some superlatives I would give Anthony Alfredo, most improved player. Kurt Coleman, former uh, Carolina Panther, certainly gets the MVP. And all the fans to get the dogs of the week for watching. So appreciate y'all. Corey, I just want to ask you, though, when drivers come out, personalities come out, how much does it mean to you to put together this event but know that they're coming out for a good cause? But most of the folks you ask, if not all of them, buy into this and want to come and support. So what does that mean to you? Man, there's so many champions, NASCAR winners here to support this, and those guys' time is so valuable. So for them to come out and chop it up, sign autographs, and not ask for anything, we try to how does it feel to be a winner? Feels good. Feels good. It don't happen very often, but uh, every, everybody, uh, everybody comes out and has a good time. Um, I, I really appreciate it. Last but not least, before I let you celebrate, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. said you snowballed at the start of this, that you told him you were going to be bad, and then you come out and you're dominant. Uh, what do you have to say back to Ricky? Um, everybody has a strategy. <laughs> Corey Joy and the Celsius team will let them celebrate. They are the winners of the celebrity game for the Kickball Classic. And there you have it. The champs getting their uh, their <laughs> their medals. And once again, here's the QR code. If you're watching at home, scan that QR code. You can donate to help out some really good causes. And that's what this is all about. Everybody's having fun. And the crowd, good crowd tonight. Merriman. Skip, final thoughts on this game. I know Corey was giving out his superlatives, but uh, do you agree, disagree? A little copyright infringement there oh. with dogs. Yeah, he can't be giving out the dogs of the week, so I'll say it. All the fans that came out and supported Samaritan's Feet and the YMCA, Team Nigu, absolute dogs. You got to see a double overtime kickball game, the first time in kickball classic history. Just a great night, ready to watch some fireworks. And I'm ready to see some fireworks on Sunday in the Roval at I almost yep. said Bank of America Stadium because I've been there a couple Bank of times. Bank of America this week. Roval 400, Chuck. 2 p.m. Charlotte Motor Speedway. Oh, Sunday. Let's go. It's elimination time. I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you guys for uh, a, a wonderful evening, and thank you fans at home for watching. Everybody that came out to support this event, and uh, don't forget to tune in uh, Sunday for uh, Stacking Penny Spare Change. Skip and Corey and Danielle Trotter are going to break down all of the action ahead of the Roval at Charlotte Motor Speedway. But for all of us here at NASCAR.com and, and the crew helping out, it is one of our favorite nights of the year. You know, from us to you, thank you for watching and thank you for allowing us to do this and have a wonderful race week here in Charlotte.
this this week this event it, it's a big one in the garage you, you see the turnout from the drivers the fans the crew members and you know the whole day it's been a whole day of events out here at the ballpark if you get a chance next year come out it'll be the fourth annual Corey LaJoy kickball classic but make sure you check it out and uh enjoy some fun in the sun and under the stars here at atrium health ballpark and that's how it ends the third annual kickball classic Corey LaJoy Corey LaJoy taking some photos down there on the field. Everybody, you can see the smiles on their faces. They, they have fun doing this. And the fans sticking around trying to get some autographs from some of their favorite drivers. Maybe not getting uh, the, dri the, the autographs from the, uh, the refs if you're part of the Team Sheets fan club. But alas, Corey LaJoy in his tournament gets the win. And LaJoy, I believe, going to send it off to fireworks here in a second. He, he's chatting with, with, with our old friend, Philip from the YNCA. Putting on the chain, taking some photos, celebrating with the folks that helped put on this tournament. Vince, Leanne, Ooh, Philip, that team Leanne. down there that you're seeing, they're the We're ones, they're the brains behind this. They put this together three years now, and each year it's gotten bigger, it's gotten better. And that's thanks to you, the fans, who have helped make this event. All right, success. guys, let's, thank you guys so much for coming who's gonna and count the third annual Kickball Classic. Hope you all had a good time. Did you guys have a good time? Hey, we're, we're gonna wrap this thing up like a good old sandlot session, so we're, we're gonna have some fireworks. Give me, help give me a count out from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go!